ambition is critical. Straight into it, like, <laughs> we don't fuck about it. No, no, straight from picking until you up from fucking smokehouse to up to you in a heartbeat. Oh, fuck, later than scheduled, literally well, later than scheduled. Four weeks, we've had snowstorms, we've had trips to New York. Well, uh, I like, missed that snowstorm, and yeah, that much. <laughs> yeah. Never let it be said that I'm not a man of my word. I promised you episode 23, so even though we did episode. 24 last week we were going back to the future we like Marty McFly Beckham, the way. Michael Jordan Griff from the call set uh, you know what I mean it's <laughs> fucking you <laughs> in high esteem innit? did you do you ever think about changing your name to Deep Pole to Griff from the call set <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no you're right <laughs> I'm loving the fact now there's a different chilled out vibe now we've gone from Sailor Jerry oh, and geez. bottles of fucking red stripe to a nice good old fashioned British cup of tea oh, cup of coffee like cup of huh? coffee it's a good job we didn't do it six months ago yeah <laughs> I'd be a fucking slaughter by now <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long have you been on the wagon? since December really? Mm. essential or yeah. new choice? well through choice like but yeah, you yeah, know yeah. I fucking run out of other choices to be honest with you is like, it really yeah, yeah. yeah. well that fucking happens man that's yeah, the price no. of fame that isn't it uh, yeah. you know himself George Best <laughs> price or of, price George, Be- George Best from Man United as he like to call himself yeah. <laughs> I'm on my podcast once I called myself a one man ant and deck <laughs> so uh, yeah. a bit more it come true that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. fuck how steaming was he getting out that car oh man he was fucking bullet. his mother was in the back god help man what the fuck? He was an yeah, elephant. Just after the crash, I looked sad that day, though, yeah. that yeah. bit when he got out of the cars. He's like, what the fuck's yeah. going on? Like, yeah. he really didn't yeah. know. Fucking he fucking got out. He, th- he said, I, was in- I thought I was in the fucking jungle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the fucking. How, how have it gone? Like, I- like that's crap. He spit up with his bird, didn't he? Um, right, yeah. And I think that's when he, he busted his leg or something. This is what I was told this week. It's right, going to be go bollocks, on. but we'll just say it's Oh, yeah, it's fuck yeah, yeah. have kids as well, so I mean, is that it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, it's all coming down. He can't down get her pregnant, she's fucked him off. Like, yeah. and, uh, and he busts his leg, and he gave him painkillers, and then he got addicted to the painkillers. He was like fucking Dr. House. Right, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking funny, like, and it just goes to show that it don't matter what you've got, you know, we're going to have it, we're going to have the fucking world, can we? But I think it's, sometimes it's worse, isn't it? You know, with these, like, I was fucking depressed last year, but I thought, yeah, well, I'm depressed because my life's fucking depressing. So you know, right. sometimes like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but if you got it, got everything, and you're still not happy, isn't it? You know, if you got plenty of money, you've got a nice house, yeah. good career, and all that, and you're like, this isn't doing fuck all for me. It's like that's a dark place to be. Fucking when right. you go from there, and you, you haven't even got that thing. Oh, if only I could have this. If only I could yeah, do that. Because he can't have anything. Yeah, can't have it. then he wanted. Like you, like you're saying about his missus, isn't it? Like he'd be with his missus for years, Just, isn't he? Yeah. You know, she ain't no fucking. Uh, she ain't no Al McPherson. No, no. She, you know what I mean? So you can have the pick of any bird he fucking wants, like slap head or not. Yeah. But fucking, <laughs> literally, it's not what he fucking wants, is it? No. He wants to smash him in up with his mother in the back on a fucking Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Right. Now, what time you got to start drinking if you crash oh, minis, that time yeah, of yeah. Oh, not, not long before sometimes. Like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a good fucking hour. Like. Well, the boys, Oki and Cobley and all the boys, just come back from Chicago, right? Yeah. We went out there for Dal's fucking 50th, and he was out there to St. Patrick's Day, right? Six o'clock in the morning, they queue him 200 deep to get in the bars up there. You know, oh, yeah, St. Patrick's Day, like. bars, yeah. they, they walk up at six o'clock to watch a Swans game. But he was like jet lagged, so like below six o'clock in Chicago, Chicago yeah. it was technically like dinner time in Swansea. Right. So they was all so really? they thought, oh fuck, well we are we're in Chicago, let's, let's go get up on it yeah. and see if we can find the Swans game. Yeah. And they said it's the biggest year, biggest day of the year in Boston. Uh, all Chicago, the plastic parties, or right, full right. of plastic parties. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like an O'Donnell <laughs> wedding. You know, none of them have ever been to Ireland. They all fucking think they fucking from Kinsale. You know. <laughs> Fucking feels of Arthur Rye is playing on the fucking wedding. They're all from Cork, it for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, they said 200 deep queuing outside bars in Chicago, 6 o'clock in the morning. So, hey, fucking, I want a fucking way to go. I, uh, fucking, I've I, I seen some of the photos, I would be, that's right up my fucking street. How many of them went? How many of them went? It's good 20. Was that yeah, many, no, was it? yeah, 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 all in all, like family and all that. Yeah, it's luck the cracking trip. Like, we really got good fucking They went to see the Chicago Bulls as well. And, yeah, that, yeah, you've got to do all oh, that massive, shit. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what happened with the Twitter ban then? Because we don't know this, you know. Uh, who did you offend? I, I think it may be been that Sophie Hagen, whoever her name is. Do you know that one? No. Is she from Geordie Shaw? No. no. She's, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, she's actually Swansea first. No, no, no. no she's, a, she, she's a comedian, she is, of fucking sorts. Right. But uh, 
the cancer research people, yeah, they put um they put a thing up on Twitter and all that. Oh, uh, I I know it's all the about. obesity I know it's thing. Yeah, they're like. You've seen? Have you seen the? What's the, the second biggest second biggest cause of uh, okay. second okay. biggest self inflicted cause of cancer? And they had like you know you know like with the things and the few letters missing and all I that. I really, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was obesity, right? right? And yeah. she's this big fat fucker, right? Yeah, yeah. And then she was then you know tweeting the cancer research people or whatever. How dare you fucking say that? You know she's got this thing. I that, saw it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you know, if you're obese, it doesn't necessarily mean you're fucking unhealthy. But it's like you're fat shaming them and that. Yeah. Let's yeah. well, You know, be, the, the, being fucking... Surely that's just stating a fact. Being chubby is one thing. There's a difference between being a bit fucking chunky and being obese to the point of it's going to kill you. you. And if you like yeah. that, you know, I've had addiction issues. People can't stop eating. I can understand that, you know. Like, the things I've been addicted to just don't make me fat. Yeah, you know of course. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's the exact yeah, yeah. opposite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. I may have sorted my head out sooner if it was food like to me. Who just lucky you all were fucking addicted to Kinder Buenos? Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, one, one day. Yeah. <laughs> but surely... So, so what you say... Fucking, you, she can't fucking have a go at the old no, cancer no, research it, UK. Yeah. It, this is the thing, right? So you've been banned for something you said to her, which probably wasn't offensive. I... I what it was, I sent about five tweets that night and then I got suspended and they never told me which tweet it was, do you know what I mean? But it was That's a couple to her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least no way. You know, it's, it's what she's probably done. If she goes like that, oh, I so to her followers, he said this to me, she's got a few thousand followers. If 300 of them complain, complain course, at the fucking yeah, same yeah. time, Twitter will fucking take you down, yeah, there, do yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not like the old school, they write the letter points of view, is well, it? They <laughs> send you straight to fucking, uh, straight to Zuckerberg and you off the fucking, yeah, you off the site. Four <laughs> seconds on a Sunday evening, uh, do you know people, what I mean? People are just too fucking sensitive. Why doesn't she just accept she's a fucking little bit chubby? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, she loves it, but nobody's no. got the point, you know? Yeah, but... Argan it, it, Darcy fucking The thing is, it, like you say, like Grace... Argan <laughs> Darcy! <laughs> It's like fucking Donna. Donna goes in a mood every fucking Saturday morning with me because she puts on two pounds going to fucking Weight Watchers. It ain't my fucking fault. Uh, I know five people. Five. I know five fat people. Three of them are my missus. Honestly, right? She can't fucking blame me for putting weight on this little world. You know what I mean? Eating a fucking Easter eggs three weeks before he start. Uh, that ain't my fucking problem. But she'll accept it. She ain't going to go on Twitter more like fuck like fucking Sophie Argan does. If, 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 if you put an opinion out there... Surely that you know that, like we were talking about earlier, you, you you're gonna split, you're gonna divide opinion. If you've got an opinion, people are gonna agree with you, or they're not gonna agree with you. So yeah. those people that don't agree with you, you can't just go, oh well, fucking get them off Twitter well, because not, they don't agree with me. Yeah. people, they're just the people who had no fucking friends in fucking school, isn't it? And now they've all just become friends in the fucking pretend world, isn't it? And it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. If anybody's mean to us, let's fucking go and grass them up to whoever. And it's all the fucking it. This. Uh, did you but see? It's not like you're hiding behind the fucking, you know, behind an anonymous fucking egg, isn't it? Well, did you, yeah, you know, no. <coughs> did you see that Count Dunkiller? Yeah. It's a crazy story, actually. It's right? absolutely crazy story, right? Let me just outline that story for anyone who didn't it. see it, right? The guy is a Twitter comedian, isn't he? He makes yeah, comedic yeah, yeah. videos for, for, yeah, yeah. for Twitter, and he actually prefaced the video, didn't he, by saying, My missus loves a dog. And I don't love a dog as much. I'm just sort of paraphrasing it. Yeah. I don't love a dog as much as she loves it. And I wanted to prove that her dog could be a bit of a twat. So I got made it do the worst thing it could ever do, which was um, do the Nazi salute. Yeah. The dog? Do the na- yeah. It was a pug. Right. Done a Nazi funny, salute. Yeah. Done well, a- you know, quite right. funny if you can get the dog right. to do that. So he, 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 trained, he trained... Hang on, I'm not finished yeah. So he trained the dog to do a Nazi salute on the queue, right. gas of Jews. Right? Oh, right. So okay. it's, it, right. But it's still quite a talent, isn't it? Right. You know, so hang dog, on, hang on, hang on. The German me... Shepherd had gone and killed fucking six no, no. million Jews, isn't it? So he, 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 he did it, right? He did it as a joke, but he, he he told everyone what the context was. Yeah. He was like, Look, I'm just fucking around. I done it to wind my messes up and I videoed it and I put it out, right? Right. So someone then, well, it wasn't actually anyone complained about it. Actually, even YouTube said, you know, we understand it's a bad taste they joke. Take it down, they? they didn't take it down. Right, so okay. YouTube said it actually stays within our boundaries. It's not a hateful thing. Well, it's not really. It's just no. a fucking joke. So right. You can tell. But the police yeah. prosecuted him. So that basically, it, what it is, is it's a, it's a, they've used it as a hate crime because there's new hate crime laws, right? And certain things you can't say by their laws. So it's yeah. basically a freedom of speech uh, situation where they're basically shutting down freedom of speech. So I actually watched a, a little video 
day before yesterday, it was David Badil, who was one of the most, he is probably the most famous Jewish comedian yeah, in, course, yeah, yeah. in, in the UK. Country, yeah, 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 yeah. Him and Ricky Gervais talking about it. Right. But David Badil supported this guy. Right. He said, look, you know, if anyone should have been offended by it, it's really, him, David yeah, Badil. Yeah, yeah. He was like, no, I, said, I understand the joke. He said, I actually found it quite funny. But, you know, they're shutting down freedom of speech now. So, you know these like edgy comedians like your likes of Frankie Boyle and Jimmy yeah, yeah, yeah. and that. Where does it end? Because if they go out now and make a joke on stage, that's but like this, pushing this the boundaries this, of yeah, what's yeah. good taste. Are they going to start getting arrested? Yeah. That's what this dang guy said. He was like, "Look, because I'm just some guy on on YouTube doing it and all that, and I've been nicked. But you go to a Frankie Boyle gig, and he'll say." Ten, 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 ten worse than that. Yeah. So you start nicking comedians on stage, comedy's over. Of course yeah. it is. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. Jail for it, are they? If you talk about comedy, Frankie Boyle in my cup of tea. You know, I don't think you know to be nasty and to be funny. However, I can see the appeal. You know, and I can see how people would find it funny. Like, like I said, not my cup of tea. I like you know what I mean? I like singing TV team tunes and talking about fucking digested biscuits and shit. Mm. But I can see why people find it funny. But as you said, to arrest that guy, I saw, I saw one tweet this week where someone said, um, there's a guy who was in prop and inciting hate crimes, uh, like Islamic stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? Careful. And he just got away with it. Yeah, yeah. He was just getting <laughs> yeah, away with it. Yeah, be taken down. The- <laughs> and fucking Dankula was looking at the fucking, a two stretch, yeah. Yeah. you know. That doesn't mean, seem right to me. No, like, it, it, like you say, I, I can't understand it because if you don't like it, you don't fucking like it. But it's not offensive as in like he didn't go out and like start talking about the holocaust and yeah, stuff, yeah. is, you know is mean? the dog getting away with this because <laughs> the dog has done it isn't it Schnorbitz oh, no. Schnorbitz is strutting around <laughs> and no one arrested Prince Harry when he dressed up as a fucking Nazi no, exactly Max Wolseley like you know yeah. before he was shagging all the prostitutes Prince he was Harry, massive you know? Prince Harry dressed as a fucking Nazi exactly do you know what I mean you know the other guy mean? got his dog to lift his fucking exactly I can't see Prince Harry having the corgis fucking walking around threatening to gas the Jews. You know what I mean? Sally's mother's a fucking German. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. But then, you know, was grandmother. It's where, where the fuck does it end with that type of thing? Like, you start going, you know, are we going to sit here now and have to start going, oh, hang on, we, we can't discuss that subject. I'm already sitting there watching what I fucking yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a pity with him because you do like a bit of Twitter. Oh, you, give, you yeah, know. give it 10 minutes, I'll be fucking saying all sorts of things you like to be about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we don't edit it, so <laughs> it is a bit fucking late for all that. Anyway, my missus isn't happy with it. Right, well, when uh, I oh, she said, "Who's gone this week?" And you, she mentioned this when I got yeah, here. It's Sam. Um, <laughs> she said, "Who's gone this week?" And usually it don't raise an eyebrow, you know, because half the time she fucking knows I'm uh, poor shit. That's what I'm, you know. Fact, it's like one of you know mates, like you know, she said, "Who's gone this week?" I saw we got Griff from the call centre, and straight away she locked up, right, from her fucking burger and chips, <laughs> right. Straight away she locked up. She went. That Griff, she said, in first line, he was nothing but a cunt, she said. <laughs> Let me tell you about first line, she said. First line was mad. Remember when Swansea was oh, called first, first line, yeah. sorry, yeah, yeah. First like, line, then, she said, was mad, yeah. she said. In first line, she said, if you want and made a scene in an hour, they'd stick a balloon on your chair, she said. Yeah. And Donna said, she said, I had to say to one of them, if you stick that fucking balloon on my chair... She said, I'll let you through the fucking window to this boy, like. Yeah. And she said, that fucking Griff never, ever once had a fucking balloon on his chair, she said. Because of what the way he was selling, like. Cause she said, he was, a fucking job. he was so good at his job. Well, she that said. was a bit of a relief. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> she said, uh, he never, ever had a fucking balloon. Because it was mad times in call centres, was it? I remember, it was lawless. I remember driving, around, uh, driving down the Kings, right? And then I'm driving down. And all of a sudden, our mate Johnny Shrew, right, yeah. is in the centre of a reservation, uh, in his pants, right, uh, wheeling down, no one in wheel, chairs with wheels, like, she's in the pants. Well, those are the ones with no wheels. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she's go, is wheeling down the fucking kings in his pants. So he pulls over, thinks he's lost his fucking head again, we'll have yeah. to take him up, fucking Kevin Coyd. He's burst out laughing. I said, what's wrong with you? He said, I'm working. I said, fuck, as what? He said, "Oh, it's um, a call centre." Like he said, "If you don't, if you does the worst sales of the day, you've got to do a forfeit, right?" Kevin O'Donnell worked in there. He only lasted two days. Yeah. He said he had the worst sales fucking rep. 
two days ran in. He said, I was going home from work. He said, as I was fucking about to leave work, they cast it by me. He said it was like fucking, he said it was like being in fucking number 73 on Saturday morning. <laughs> you remember that TV show? Like fucking, <laughs> like, um, the fun house, he said. He said, you're right. going out to work, but someone's fucking cast it by me. He said, I couldn't last night. But them call centres were crazy days, weren't they? First line, yeah, I was at 1999. Right. First, first place I worked. And, uh, yeah, I remember the balloons on the chair. But they were alien balloons, innit? So I just get the balloon and right, yeah. suck the alien up. And, and go, start go talking to Mrs. Warboys <laughs> about fucking electric. But, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't put it. Was that your first fucking job in the call well, centre that's, that's, environment? That's yeah. where you must have hooked up with Ashley. Yeah, well, he was only about 17 then. Yeah. And he was, well, I don't know, prolific at sales. He was just a really good liar, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so he was earning fucking stupid money. Do you know really? Because I mean? it was money in it, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I was earning, I had gone from like, you know, two, three hundred pound a week jobs in warehouses. Normal job, around, yeah. You know? And he'd work there and he'd be getting like seven, eight hundred quid a week. Fuck and, yeah, do you know right. what I mean? There was crazy money being earned. And then loads of people went to work there. But obviously then, Everybody won't work in there. Eight, everybody was working there. Do you know what I mean? Right, because they are fucking. They running around like Conor McGregor with yeah, yeah. mink jackets. Yeah, you know what I mean? Stuck in just sucking. Yeah, yeah. Throwing money at barmaids and all that shit. Those first like fuckers. Donna walking around fucking ice cream with a tube. Like a wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, two balloons, yeah. And, <laughs> two balloons and th- three grand in a fucking carrier bag. No, these places do encourage cunts. Like, do you know what I mean? You are going to get a lot of cunts working. I've worked in a lot of call centres and I've met a lot of cunts in them. Do you it's just lying, like. <laughs> Telling fucking Mrs. Johnson a Dixie Click is a fact. What's a Dixie Clicker? I have no idea, but it's fact. I don't know. I I never thought I'd have the temperament for that. I just... The I just, phone's all day, like, the sitting the next to people like Griff for fucking balloons. Well, oh, yeah, sitting it's, next to me, you'd be fucking loving it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that. It's the fucking... Like I'd start, like, there's got to come a point where you, I'd be taking it personally. Like, like I'd be, I'd be stopping. I'm like, look, just before you put the phone, like, what's wrong with me? Like, yeah, yeah, me? yeah. Is yeah. something I said? Was it something? Is my voice too deep? Or I suppose you have got to have thick skin, though, Griff. It depends on the money in it. When I, I've always said, if I sit down talking shit for nine hundred pound a week, thirty four hours, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fucking fine by me. Sit there with. 40 hours for 300 quid a week I'd sooner be shoveling fucking shit of course yeah, 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 yeah. it's the worst job in the world for, for if you're not earning commission like yeah, yeah. it's always like the basics always crap in these places you only earn decent money if you're selling and uh, I never had a trade or fuck all like that so if I was out of work I'd be like right where's all the shit fucking jobs do you mean yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the Roy's quality product <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. Walker's yeah, crisps yeah. Like Amazon these days, do you know of course what I mean? it is. Yeah, I always yeah. end up in these fucking places, like do you know what I mean? So uh, my mate, well, I say mate, he owes me money. So my mate Mark, I won't say his full name. He was working down there, and he said, oh, "Griff, come and work down this first line." He said, "You love it, like a piece of piss yeah. on the phone and all that." And I, I put it off for months. Like I thought, I can't do that. I can't work on the phones, you know, because it was new. Do you know what I mean? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, like tiny sales and all that. And I went down there then eventually or whatever. It's like the first week I earned about six hundred quid. It's like fucking. What's, this was Without like even fucking trying. Like, Twenty years ago, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. <coughs> decent money. Like I was going to say in them days it would be right now. Fuck wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course it would. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. <coughs> be a bump. <coughs> About 500, 500 quid a bit more a month yeah. more, like, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so for stupid money, it was all right. But those days are gone now, and and people have had enough of it, and you know everybody's blocking calls. And I suppose the, you know we made still people dragging it up. Like, like, I suppose the show did make the fucking ass drop out the end of it. Like that, yeah, know. that was like the uh, final nail in the coffin for the city, I suppose. But there's still people at it now. Yeah, of course I mean? it is, yeah, yeah. They Which just, I suppose it always will be. In yeah, some ways, like, they just get closed down quicker now, isn't it? You know, right, there's always yeah. places getting busted. Right? <laughs> yeah. They take it seriously now, isn't it? Whereas before, you get away with it. They just take your PDQ a few. You know, these days, there's people being taken to court and yeah. all that shit for it. Do you know what I mean? It's just a different ballgame now. How did you find that? Where now? Which one? Well, generally, you no, know, the like the call center when it came on TV, like your fifteen minutes fame, like fifteen. Fuck off! I was offended. Everybody, yeah, yeah. But it's not. You know what I mean? It was like I was in the Christmas special. Was yeah. six. <laughs> it's seventeen minutes screen time. I thought it was, I thought it was going to end up on strictly and shit like that. I didn't yes. know. Like, you know what I mean? Who dancing with a fucking. Uh, the Russian fucking ballet dancer. Well, I have been asked by uh, Deck to go and join him. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he wants you to be a chauffeur. Yeah. No, um, 
15 minutes of fame, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I was talking to uh, Ryan before, but when I was first getting like wreck and I was walking down the street by people, yeah, yeah. they were like, oh, you a griffin, oh. The only thing I could liken it to him, it was like being a smart bird. Do you know what I mean? Right. You know, a really yeah, smart yeah, yeah, bird yeah. who walks down the street and just people just, just, yeah, yeah, just yeah, look yeah. at her, like, isn't it? I'd walk down the street and there'd be like people looking at me and I wouldn't, I'd think, what's going on? I'd think I'd fucking had a, a bean stuck yeah, in my course, head or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, oh no, they see me in that programme and everything. Because it was massive, wasn't it? It was big, yeah. No, it was I seen, big. I, it, I'm, I'm assuming it was big nationally. Yeah, to us it was big because no, we were like, no, yeah, no, it was big nationally. Yeah, you know, 100%. I don't want to don't sound like a twat, but it was BBC Three's most successful program ever. Do you know what I mean? No way. <laughs> the episode I was in, yeah. Isn't <laughs> 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 it? Fuck it, but it was just bad. Like the BBC went fucking bust. Do you know what I mean? Because they'd have probably churned out. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Little spin-off shows, up. like innit? Yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Griff and Louis Theroux walking around Scientology <laughs> buildings, <laughs> trying to fucking insight like, Donna yeah. up like they did in New York. When? Donna asking the main guy, "Do you know Tom Cruise?" <laughs> fucking embarrassing, like you know what I mean. Scientologists. Oh fucking! I lost my town Luke last week. I lost my message for half hour in yeah. New York. Like could be fucking anywhere. Next door hotel is a Scientology building. Typical Donna. Don't leave poor tenant. She sees a Scientology building. She gets all excited. As I walks in, see her, she's signing forms, right? She's going to the, like, them. She's going to the Hollywood Centre in LA, 100%, yeah. like with that David Miscavige, right? All I can do, as I walks in the building, is her saying to the man, so how short is he? So I saw she's going on to the man is, have you met fucking Tom Cruise? Right. You know what I mean? She don't know fuck all else about Scientology. And I said to Luke last week when she said, you know, how did it start? And the guy said, She thinks oh. you're going to be in the next Mission Impossible. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, like I said, I said to Luke last week when she said to the guy, how did Scientology start? He said, well, ma'am, our, our founding father, <coughs> L. Ron Hubbard, and then her exact words were, I loved him in the happy days. <laughs> He's brilliant. <laughs> fucking Ron Hubbard. She fucking thought he was all about the fucking idiot. Well, then we had to drag it out and rip the forms up. You know what I mean? She'd have been fucking gone living in LA. When we had. Um, you went to that then, Paddy, you know, Scientologist, do you? I no, don't know the f- so next to the first thing. Um, he's, right, the guy who started it, L. Ron Abbott, was like a science fiction writer. Yeah, uh, right, right, okay. You know, so basically. <coughs> Educate all, me. So they all stopped. I think educating anyone. Grips the man to do that. You tell me if I'm going wrong. No, right? I don't know much about it. But so like science fiction. He was right? like a science. He was a big sci-fi writer, right? Right. right. And then he starts this religion, which is basically the sci-fi that he was writing anyway. And he was like a failed army veteran. Like he would like to dress up as an admiral in the fucking in the uh, admiral in the US Navy, which I don't think he was ever qualified to do. He started this fucking, (coughs) basically like a cult, basically. But what happens, when you start a religion, you don't get taxed. So all these people are joining his religion and bringing money in, and he won't get taxed for it. You know, then all of a sudden, it's a crazy... Right, okay, because I'm not a complete rage and psycho at this fucking stage. What the fuck do these cancel like John Travolta and Tom Cruise get out of it then? Um, because basically what they reckon with John, uh, Tom Cruise is when they go to this, you know, there's a bottom level of Scientology who like basically are the fucking skibbies, same as in life in general. Right. And, you know, they're fucking, they work their way up. But then what you find is they usually bring their families in and they've had families that all of a sudden, like the father might think, what the fuck am I doing here? I'm wasting my fucking life. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. But then the other family members will turn against him. So <coughs> they'll they lost the size him, like he leaves Scientology and they'll fucking he'll lose his family. Cause they fucking believe it's mm. true, like. And they reckon the only way you can describe it with Tom Cruise and Travolta and that is when they go there, they are treated like fucking royalty. Right. Like um, you know, no, there's fucking there's women there that are the most beautiful women that are just there to sort of be with Tom Cruise, like, you know yeah, what I mean? He, he's Tom Cruise, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so this is what, you know, know he's Tom Cruise. This, uh, and, 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 like I said, he's treated so well, but as you said, I thought he'd be treated fucking well everywhere. He's the biggest fucking movie star on the planet, isn't he? You know mm. what I mean? But, I don't know, they I get have to see that because Louis Theroux did the documentary. Yeah, because he's done a movie as well. That's what I mean, I haven't seen, I saw the the documentary, 
that was you know, yeah. years back. But I haven't seen the movie, my Scientology movie. Yeah. That's what it's called. Well, I mean, it's respectfully, because correct me if I'm wrong, but there is sort of some sort of Catholic overtone to this podcast, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, we got two of the worst Catholics yeah, of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, any religion, you've got to believe in some right fucking nonsense, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, you know, maybe John Travolta now have just bought into all this. It, they exactly. Just sometimes sometimes you're just looking for something. Um, sometimes you're just looking to be loved, do not it? Do you know what I mean? And uh, I think that's what it is. It's, some people are just, oh, you know, going to go off. Oh, class, <laughs> it's not even water, water yeah, exactly. come on, mate. I <laughs> thought I was like in Peckham Spring, and the way I was dishing it out. But I, I don't know, I just think, is it a case of wanting to be loved? Like I said, you talking to the worst fucking Catholics ever. So I you should... get love as a young Catholic then? Um, I never got fingered or nothing by Catholics. I wasn't in like, Catholic school, uh, so I managed I've, to survive all that. Um, I've seen, have you ever seen the film Spotlight? No. Fucking <laughs> hell, what a fucking I got, eye opener, right? I, got I recommend head, it, head. right? It's um, in Boston in the 60s and 70s, right? Yeah. Um, there was rife um, about child abuse by priests, right? They were going to um, kids who were like for broken homes and shit like that, and he was basically fucking molesting them, right? Loads, and it was systemic fucking child abuse by these priests, like Boston. In 60s, 70s. 60s, yeah. 70s, right? And the Boston Times run the story about it, like you're talking hundreds yeah. of kids being abused, sexually abused, like. And it was covered up by the Catholic Church. Yeah, they and powerful as fucking America. How, they? Like Boston yeah. is so Irish Catholic. Like the the mafia, kids, yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Well, there was a cardinal called the Car- Cardinal Law, right, was his name. And he knew about all these kids being fucking abused, right? He knew about it and swept them under the carpet and denied it ever happened, right? It's proved that it happened. His yeah. priests have gone down. This Cardinal Law <laughs> now, <laughs> Cardinal <laughs> Law now, is now one of the biggest archbishops in the world working in Vatican City. No. Now you fucking tell me. Yeah. So his punishment for fucking sweeping all these fucking child molestation. Job, job. He's got the fucking main job. Like. He's it, fucking, he's doing the fucking talk. Uh, see, I sometimes say things, right, and I give them somewhere or other, and I don't even know if they're true or not, but I yeah. say them anyway, right? We do a lot of that. Oh, fuck, no. we do that <laughs> regularly. <laughs> we do that every week. Look, the Kirk murder case, I based on smashing TVs and fingerprint and uh, dust particles going on to the telly. It's absolute nonsense. I haven't read that book yet. Oh, it's worth <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd really like to tell you, you'd enjoy it, but you wouldn't. No. No, I'd wind you up. That's a bit dubious. I can't remember what I was going to say now. Car uh, priests. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Vatican City, yeah. Right, yeah. Well, apparently, Vatican City, it's like a separate sort of country. Really. Yeah, it's yeah. got yeah. rules yeah. and all that. <laughs> and um, the, the age of. Uh, What's the term? Age of consent, yeah? Yeah. yeah. In Vatic- in the Vatican City, it's younger than the rest of fucking Italy. <laughs> For fuck's sake! And the reason being, you know, the choir boys, because their voices break when they get to a certain age. Yeah, yeah. So that um, the choir boys, obviously the priests and all that, are fucking helping themselves. Yeah, they? yeah. If they were a couple of years older, do you know what I mean? If they were a couple of years younger, it'd be illegal. But have a look into that. The fact that they, the, I don't think said, I will. I think I'll give it a miss. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've had a great agent. I'll take the speedboat. I'll give it a miss. A like, little right. bit of easy reading There's, on a Sunday um, afternoon. Is, yeah. <laughs> I, I used to be my spy. I definitely don't need that on my search history. <laughs> Yeah. There's, yeah. Too much, there's too much there's too much fake taxi on there as it is. I don't exactly. think yeah, yeah, yeah. consent in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you think fake taxis, a new taxi firm, the Ryan's just put his C V in bro. <laughs> I, uh, and there's a documentary on Netflix, have you seen it called The Keepers? Uh right. And it's supposed six part and it like yeah, the murder. Part. I didn't quite hit like It's not no, it's that. not as good. It threatened to be as good as right. the murder, but it never was. But it goes into a lot of the background of what you were talking about really? there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all right. Like after watching Making a Murderer, you can't compare the yeah, two. Yeah, of course. But yeah. you know, it kept me in. Enter- well, I wouldn't say entertaining. Like you say, these things, like they're dark as fucking yeah, in, in oh, the grand crazy. scheme of things. Even Making a Murderer, which I fucking was fascinated yeah, by. Yeah, that was. Have you ever seen that, Chris? No, that I one. haven't. I know the one you mean, but yeah, that one, it, it's big time. Like, that's how everyone that come after it. They said, "Oh, the next Making a Murderer." Like yeah. it was fucking. I remember reading about it because it was all over social oh, media. Oh, of course it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like. Taking different sizes, yeah, yeah. 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 It was, it was sometimes something, something just catches, doesn't it? Yeah, you know? it catches. Have you ever seen? I'm a big uh, fan of Jeffrey Dahmer. I am. <laughs> big fan. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Let's get some fucking. Let, let me get my tool out in case they stab me. The two kids just just walking bare then. They've got a chilly feeling down the board. 
I got a fucking drop him on my own now. I'm fucking hell. There's actually there's a Jeffrey Dahmer um, documentary on Netflix which is on my list as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Who's watching it? Fucking nuts, man. So which one's just... Jeffrey Dahmer now? I guess he's like... go on, Griff. You're the fan. Yeah, come well, on. Well, he used to he used to go to these gay clubs and all that, get people back to his house. He was just fucking lonely. He was. Yeah. And then when they wanted to go home, he'd be like, oh, "No, that's not happening." He'd fucking drug them, and they'd be like fucking out cold and. And then he just got into cannibalism and all that shit. Right. And As you do, yeah, it? Well, yeah, you know, when in Rome. Everything got out of it, went in the Vagans. <laughs> yeah, the Vagans. Yeah. Yeah. Dawn would be the same if she ran out of Kinder Bueno. Like, you know, she just, started you wake up in the thigh. morning and your fucking yeah. legs gone. Yeah. But he, he lost the place. He was, he was going to build, um, he was making, um, what do you call it, like a shrine. Yeah. Right. To old part, Well, to all these people he'd killed, you know, using skulls and all this really? other shit. and. And then it just got all chaotic, you know. You know <laughs> people <laughs> <are dying. laughs> really start eating people, right? People at different stages. <laughs> yeah. De- decomposition, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is flat. Like. And there was one There was one bloke, I, I, I heard about me the other day, this kid, he's only 15, 16 or whatever. Yeah. The kid sort of got out of his house and escaped, and there was some copper outside, and fucking Dharma went outside, and he convinced this copper that it was his boyfriend. They just had a bit of a fucking argument and all that. Love and he let him go back fuck. in the fucking house. But oh, wow. I used to read all these, like, murder case book things. Yeah, I like all that. I was into all that, but, you know, some of the Jeffrey Dharma stuff is just... And it's a long time ago I read it, so I don't remember it as well as I used to, like, but... Charles Manson was... was Charles yeah, Manson. I, I, I've gone <coughs> deep into Charles Manson. Yeah. It was absolute crackers. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just look at it. Know the bad luck of um, that Tate, is it? Susan Tate, is it? Sharon. Sharon, Sharon Tate. Know the bad luck of her getting killed. Do you know the story behind her? Do you know, genuinely, of all the ones like Ted Bundy and Zodiac and, and, you know, and all those ones, actually, that's probably the one I know the least. Well... The bad, like, you know, it's fucking huge. It goes on for fucking ages. Like, you know, he... he Manson was a good musician, like, pretty right. good musician. And he was promised, like, a record contract by off Brian Wilson and the, for the Beach Boys. Like, they got really pally. And um, he basically said he'd get a record contract. Like, but then I think Brian Wilson then thought, fuck, must have thought this fucking guy's a bit fucking crazy. Like, and I'm not sure it was Brian Wilson's house... Uh, Manson went to Brian Wilson's house but in the time Brian Wilson had sold the house to Palance, Roman Palance yeah, and yeah, Sharon yeah. Tate <clears throat> right. so in walks um, Manson this house like opens the back gate by the swimming pool and all that and there was Sharon Tate a friend and like a bodyguard and his bodyguard said what the fuck are you doing here and he said I come see Brian Wilson and he said fuck off you don't live here no more get the fuck out and I planted a seed in his fucking oh, head right right and then that's the reason why he went. They, they went there. Because I have Roman right, So you're saying that he still thought it was Brian Wilson's house? No, he th- well, he went in to see Brian Wilson. Yeah. Brian Wilson won there because he'd sold the house to the Sharon Tate and Ron Polanski. But when he went there, this fucking guy fucked him off. Right. I said, what the fuck so are you doing? So that's why he started And then all of a sudden, then, you know, that's what started the killings off. Then they went on random. Then he killed fucking random people in. Yeah. But that's how it started. Like, like that's Sharon Tate. Because he, you know, he, he never actually... Did anything himself. He made every he, other fucking thing. He made every other thing. Everyone. Yeah. 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 yeah, and they all fucking did it. Like, Linda Kasabian, and it was wonderful. That's yeah. Linda Kasabian, yeah. named after a woman called Linda Kasabian. America's Kasabian. a crazy, Manson crazy, crazy, yeah, crazy fucking place. It is, really Full really of fucking, fucking mental right. cases. Have you seen West of Memphis? Is that what it's called? Yes. About the West. Um, uh, no, is that West? It's the West Memphis Tree, you know? Yeah, yeah, Have you yeah. seen that? Crazy. Crazy. Absolute. How the fuck did they get fucking oh, absolute madness? Is that a true story, is it? Yeah, there was um, <clears throat> there was this fucking like, uh, basically he was a bit of a goth, extreme goth, yeah. for me, right? Called Damien Eccles, I think his name is, and um, he had a couple of like, basically they were fucking divs, you know, like proper. They were mates, and he was sort of like into like becoming a bit of a satanist, like you know, uh-huh. and. Uh, Everyone around where they lived, because they lived in some poxy part of Memphis where there's probably like tin houses and all that fucking shit. They knew of him and they were all, everyone was sort of like weary of him anyway. It's a local weirdo. Like. Yeah, local weirdo. And he was only a youngster. And then this kid gets fucking murdered. <coughs> and immediately, like, the old bill pin it on him yeah. and the two boys he's with. And one of them is basically, I don't think this is offensive to say, he was basically half retarded. 
and they coerced the fucking. <laughs> I, is that, is yeah, it, it was. Yeah, yeah. 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 As long as you say after retard. They didn't go full retard. They didn't go full retard. They never go full retard. And they coerced the fucking um, confession out of him. And right. then they, uh, you know, they, they nicked him. And they basically sent him down uh, without real forensic evidence. the dark elves, was he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. It was the same sort of scenario. Same sort of fit up of that. And then all these like celebs then, they got him behind fucking... Getting him out of Nick, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. a whole. It's a lot more complex. Than but it was it. the other boy, though. He was with the no, no, no. They, they, well, this is like, the thing because right. if you speak to a lot of people, they'll say no, no. They still think Eccles and these two done it. Yeah. But there's um, a, 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 I think it's the stepfather of the boy that got killed. Like he can't account for his whereabouts at that time of night, and he never really got questioned by the old building. Right. They just sort of passed it over as if they just had their mindset. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes he's the, the right person for the fucking yeah. the right, you know, he's the right person for the right crime. Did they go down for it? They went down for it for a yeah, while, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, then yeah, they got, and then they got out. Like yeah, said, all these celebrities like that. Dave Grohl and all that. Um, Johnny Depp was one of the yeah, big yeah, ones yeah. going yeah. behind on the campaign to get him out. It's interesting. It's on. I think it's called the West Memphis Street. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. Uh, it's on. That's on Netflix as well. I haven't got Netflix. Yeah, Mate, yeah. it's seven quid a fucking month. No, I, well I know. Spent, I, I just... Obviously... I try not to watch TV too much and I know what I'm like. If I get Netflix, I'd be like, right, bang, it's 12 hours fucking going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, that's, like, that's the <laughs> problem, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the fucking problem. Either I'll just listen to this and we'll tell you what. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a terrible yeah. fucking rundown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, we ain't no TV times at Christmas. Uh, you know I'll, what I mean? I'll go and watch it. Look, yeah. nothing like I was fucking like, <laughs> it does my head in. My fucking mother-in-law buys the TV magazines, right, every week. And it tells you what's happening in this week's soap. What's the fucking point? Uh, you know what I mean? Just watch the cunting thing. She'll uh, read about what's happening in fucking this week. I'm not very good at explaining stuff, to be honest. You know, I'll watch one of these films or something and I'll try and tell somebody about it and I'll be like oh, just a make a fucking yeah, 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 exactly. watch it like Did, um, when we had um, Adam Farrell here he made he made a claim that a lot of what was done in the call centre was staged was that um, well, I imagine he would have had to stage certain things I just to I set it up I only speak for my own scenes you know uh, but no, not not as far as I was concerned. A lot, a lot of a lot of it was in a way. To be honest, he's not fucking lying. Like, especially with like Nev and the producer. I suppose if they got other, a weekend in a room, you know, they got to fill so much fucking you have, yeah. T- yeah. screen time or whatever. So a lot, like before the the cameras turned turned up there to film this thing, that place was the same. Yeah, yeah, right, you know, yeah. Nev was. The, he was just a more exaggerated version on TV, but yeah, it was still yeah. dull as fuck and all these yeah. stupid fucking incentives going on and stupid competitions and every coming fancy dress. I mean, yeah. all that was happening anyway. Typical, like, call centre, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. rally the troops fucking bullshit. Like, do you know what I mean? But then um, when they started filming it, it was, some of it was more contrived, you know. They'd be like, oh, well, if you do this, you know, we could film that and then maybe... Yeah, so there was course, ele- yeah, elements yeah. of that, you know, but... Not for me personally, you know what I mean? I just, I was exactly the same when they were filming as I was before. People would get on my tits, uh, managers, <laughs> and all that shit. So for me, it was just an opportunity to show these cunts up, really. Yeah, you know, yeah. People would be the, doing my head the, the ones, just, the scenes well, that they seem to show you, like, it just looked like to me as if it was like a camera about fucking 20 yards away, not even telling you we film a new. Like camera three miles away, and it, it was seemed oblivious to the camera, and he was just going off on one. Yeah. I know it. Obviously, they fucking could edit fifteen minutes. That could be like three days worth in it. You know what I mean? But well, they that, didn't have to with me. That's the thing because, and at the time of them filming the first series, my head was fucked. Yeah, right, do you know what I mean? yeah. In, in real life, do you know what I mean? My head was fucking yeah. fried with all sorts of reasons. So I was in work, fucking pissed off anyway. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Then it was like. You know, managers harassing you and hassling you and all that. You know, I was ready to fucking freak out most of the fucking yeah, times. Yeah. They were like, oh, this will be worth the fucking look. Of course, they was fucking <laughs> loving it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, there was... The old thing was contrived in a, in a way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the f- first series, they filmed 900 hours just to get five, six hours on TV. Yeah, yeah. So they were just filming everything because they didn't know course, what, yeah, what the yeah. fuck was going to work or not, do you know what I mean? But... Uh, but the second series, I don't know. There was elements of that, you know. Like I say, not so much with myself, but some of the other things are going on. When I watched it back, I think um, that wasn't yeah. That, yeah, that looks a bit like oh, set yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you don't but, seem the type. No, I don't claim to know you that well, but you don't seem the type that would 
take well the direction if they were trying to fucking tell you what to yeah. do. Is that ever yeah. fair to say that? Well, no, well, that's, that was always... I couldn't see Spielberg saying to Griff, pretend they had dinosaurs over there. Yeah, <laughs> Shut exactly. up, you stupid Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, can we say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's us shut down today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're with call centres. Because I... Uh, like your missus had said, I could sell and all that. Oh, yeah. Fuck you get left alone too. then because you're making the boss money, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, you know, they're never going to sack somebody from a call centre. Well, they did actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to say they're never going to sack somebody who could sell, but, yeah. but they will if they want like, yeah, 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 to. Yeah. They will if they want to contrive a little fucking story. You know of course, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was partly why I was probably sacked because it was like, right, this is Good story, you walk it off at sunset. Yeah. By sunset, I mean, land up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so it was like, yeah, you got your little episode, but I ain't got a fucking job now. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready that manager me. who, um, obviously they're right, he tortures one fucking manager. He's like a young boy. Yeah, I know. But yeah, he's yeah. like, I, he's I just, saw him, I saw him. Oh, fuck, this guy is just typical, typical manager who's, he just got no respect, he just wants to get on, but he's a fucking bit of a gimp. And fucking, he runs up against oh, <laughs> Griff, fucking comes up against Griff. And it's talk about a wall of mines, like, Griff is like, Three steps ahead of this geese, I'm like, you don't know what's fucking going on, you know what I mean? And he's like giving fucking Griff lessons on fucking selling and recording, you know, this voice recording. Oh, quality control. Quality control, that's what it was, <laughs> for fuck's sake, you know. You know, Griff has fully worked in a call centre for 10 years. Yeah. This fucking guy got a terrible little fitting suit. Yeah, and it's no, fucking Dion, man. He, um, Probably a lovely fella, like. No, I, I got on all right with him. Is you it? Know, yeah, in some yeah. ways, but then he got a. Because everybody wanted to go off the phone. You know, all the people are on the phones. Mm. It's like, that's the worst job there, is on the phone, yeah? Right. So everybody wants that's to. That's the be, only job, it should be. Well, no, but people want to be like go managers, yeah, right, quality right, yeah, control, yeah. you know, anything that didn't involve them having to be on the phone right, all fucking yeah, day. Yeah. And wear a shirt and tie yeah. all of a sudden. So as soon as they were off the phone, Mussolini, then like, they would like just harass him and be on the phone and, you know, make out that it's easy. And it's like, well, you know what it's like. You're just fucking doing it, but. A little bit of power sometimes goes to people's heads. Oh, right? in those places, yeah. yeah. You little, know, put a put a tie on. And then with the cameras much. as well, didn't it? It's like, look, we're working in a fucking call center. Like, stop pretending we've succeeded in life. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah. Know what I mean? Just admit, fucking, how do we end up here? Like, what's, what's, what's gone wrong? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah. true, isn't it? Everyone you thinks he's Richard Branson all uh, the time. Yeah, like. Or, like you said earlier, both for fucking Wall Street. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was like, um, stop pretending this is anything other than the worst job in the fucking world. Which is why I think the people filming it, like me, like as everybody there was acting like, oh, it's great yeah, working yeah. your job for life. And I'm thinking, I've seen this with first line before, this ain't yeah, going to last yeah, much yeah. fucking longer. Like, it's not going to last longer than Donna's balloon. You know, you're rising through the fucking ranks. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, you know, to dizzy heights of fucking assistant, assistant manager and all that shit. But uh, give it two years, your fucking job's gone, mate. Of course, because all them now, all the managers, they probably don't work in that industry now, like. No, they? they're all in Amazon, are they? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like the South African Fuck guy, like, fucking, I'm going to oh, save up and buy an Addy A3. He, he, was, he was one of the ones that got on my tits. Oh, the most fucking yeah, hell. Like, I remember him, though. He was, he he was yeah, a lot. Yeah. Like, can I uh, use your toilet? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we'll just start with him. Yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we try not to tell <laughs> yeah. against like, fucking... Because um, when you were working for Ashley, right, he used to fucking... I was working nights in Royal Mail at the time and he used to fucking text me, right? I'd be like uh, fucking sorting or something, you know, and we, they used to, the boys used to put the love wave on. Now I fucking hated oh, the, the, what? the love wave. The love wave, right? right? Yeah. Was, uh, what would it have been at that time? Would it have been Swansea Sound, is it? Uh, or or um, Real, uh, the, the wave. The it? wave, right? It was the wave. So that's right, because the love wave, right, of course. So they used to, so the boys would have the love wave on the radio and they used to do my tits in. Oh, right? I can imagine. There all night sort and fucking Love Wave was a couple of hours though and it wasn't all night, was it? So Ashley would fucking text me, right? On my Nokia 3310. Yeah. Like either him or Griff right. is gonna be on the Love Wave now, right? Right, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so there was it's like how they never fucking knew either of you because <laughs> they, they would like drop their voices a bit or lift their yeah, voices yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit they would just chat while someone uh, falling in yeah, was, uh, you know what I mean the time. right they used to torment that fucking guy because the, 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 the calls all had the same not the same content right. but the same I knew I'm waiting for it to come yeah, right, yeah. do you know what I mean and the call would go on and let's say it was Griff I was saying he'd be going yeah well 
you know, I just sort of, you know, we've had a bad time. I've sort of split up my missus. And then go on. And you, like, you can tell this guy's yeah, getting into yeah, it because yeah. he's answering back. And, I was there. Yeah. and then all of a sudden, like, you just go, yeah, because big massive cocks. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably breaking the night away for this guy because oh. he's probably busy. Like, he's probably sick to death of Tony Braxton, isn't he? No, like, and then Griff is coming on talking about big dicks and two cocks. This guy is fucking weird, though. This guy, Paul Evans, right? right. His name was. Because he'd have, like, Young girls ringing in, yeah, like, yeah. fucking 16, 17 year old girls ringing in about my boyfriend, oh, I'm pregnant, they can't tell my mum, and I need to be there. He's creepy, like, yeah, talking yeah. to them, to me, proper creepy, like. And it was when I actually had that call centre above his own man's yeah, kebab yeah. shop, 12 boys above a kebab shop. <laughs> Listening to Tony Braxton. <laughs> we'd, we'd, we'd finish work at fucking 7 o'clock or something, go for the Bruno Moore, get pissed as fuck. Uh, Paul Evans would come on about 11 or 12. Yeah. We'd go back into Ashley's fucking call set. That fucking grab some cans. We'd be fucking hammered. And we'd have like 12, 15 phone lines. So that's so we could keep bringing him back different fucking numbers. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'd, have, we'd bring him on every line sometimes. He's, so we'd jam his switchboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He couldn't take calls. He else. He's like, so busy. He was like midnight caller from the 80s. Yeah. Really. You know, because he was bored as fucking work, right? Yeah, yeah. The boys would be going to me, you know, after a while. Like, I'd tell the boys, he goes, my mate Ashley just texts me. They're gonna be on now. They're gonna to torture this guy, and then like, so it was like a nightly thing. It was like, is he mate gonna be on? I was like, I'll, I'll text him now. I'll text him. Now. Oh yeah, we're gonna be on. So it was like, say him and Ashley just fucking tormented that. Well, you, you can hear that guy right? Go on to YouTube, right? Type in George from Flanders. Yeah, and that's the one. I, I yeah. One of the phone calls with, with that guy. He's a fucking, well, that's you, was it? George from Flanders. Yeah, I'm yeah. George with. Paul Evans, yeah, he's a fucking proper weirdo, and he yeah. disappeared off the scene. Who was that, George? Really and cool Flannery, eight years, yeah, um, in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Griff sent that George and Glenn Yeah, I put it on out of Twitter right. the, the first time round we were supposed to do the podcast, and I listened to it. I was in work and I listened to it, and it was it was uh, the archetypal call to him, wasn't it? Right, because it led him so he got so involved in yeah, the call yeah. that when the killer moment comes, he's fucked. He doesn't know what to right. do with himself. Does he? <laughs> he got his thing on, blame it on the buggy. <laughs> No, I, yeah, absolutely fucking tortured him. I don't usually like a lot of my own phone calls and all that, but that I like that one because it was him, do you know what I mean? And it was perfect time in the <laughs> sucking cock. <laughs> that, that, that what he did? Yeah, yeah to kill that, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really sort of what did he do then? Did he bite like, or? Oh, well, he's just like, he, what did he say? He's like, Every week or somebody goes again and somebody like fucking yeah, he realises yeah. that he got done again because probably like the 11th time they've done like it. There's like five or six of us with different voices, different fucking numbers, do you know what I mean? And he used to have a normal show until yeah, they yeah. cottoned on to it. Like, <laughs> and we did it for fucking weeks, do you know what I mean? So it was wrecking his head at one point. Surely you must have clocked. You've gone from having like one call a night to having like 26. And nobody else could get through, like, because we had all the phone lines and yeah, we yeah. just clog it all up. And he just wanted to talk to 15 year old girls about being up with fucking dust, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he was oddball, wasn't he? So he was fucking missing. But so there was one time I came down to Ashley's um, call centre, public kebab shop, and you had Colin Addison and Dave Bassett on the phone. And you yeah. were trying to sell. Were you in there then? I was, was there, there that day, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dave Bassett, Harry Bassett. Harry Bassett, Bassett. Bassett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who oh, the fuck do you have his number? We used to ring loads of people. Well, this was like, this was just after first line. This was like the start of the century, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And in them days, like... Start of the century. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like fucking... Showed Charles Dickens, then. What? Start of the century. No money walked up. All he did on the shit. All he did on the plane. We all got dysentery, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bit fucking weird. Yeah, the turn of the century. Um, see, I've gone again. What were we on about? Colin Addison and Harry oh, Bassett. Yeah. No, but you could get managers' numbers easy, then. Yeah, you know, you'd ring the club. Do you know what I mean? Get the club's number off the fucking 192. Ring one, you know, no fucking internet. Was yeah, it? yeah. Well, it was just the start of it, but ring 192, get the fucking number for the club. Ring the club, especially, like, you know, talk about transfers or something like that. Oh, I'm ringing from, because I spoke to Keegan like that. I said, I'm ringing from Cardiff. Right. Uh, bringing on behalf of, who's their manager now? He's manager of Swans or Alan Frankie Cork. Alan Cork. Yeah, yeah, I said, I'm ringing on behalf of Alan Cork. Um... To buy Sean Gota. Oh, fuck you, then! Didn't Cardiff come into some money around about that time, was it? Yeah, it's Sam Lamani. Sam Lamani, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Cardiff was throwing it. They were in about the second or third division, but they were throwing a bit yeah, of money yeah. about, weren't they? And so I phoned up Man City when Keegan was manager, making out that uh, Cardiff wanted to buy Sean Gota. Yeah, he yeah. was a top scorer. Of course he was, yeah. Feed the goal and he was scored. Yeah. And, um, I, I, uh, I like, 
I ended up getting through the Keegan, like, do you know Matt Todd, do you know, do you know Todd? Like Ashley's mate? Oh, Matt Todd, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah. Jeff he, Ashley's brother. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, because he was working there as well, like, and he was a bit of a fucking technology fucking whiz kid, do you know what I mean? So he was the one who linked up calls, and he'd ring somebody, or hold a line, ring somebody else, hold a line, and that's who that, like, Harry Bassett on one line, somebody else on another line. Yeah. And then just leave them fucking speak to each other. Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. We've got loads of managers' numbers. Like these days, you can't, you know, you can't get the numbers, you know. Lower divisions, maybe. But we've got Keegan, Steve Bruce, Barry Fry. There's fucking loads. Like, I'm you know just I mean? fucking loving fucking picturing. One minute Griff is fucking breaking up someone's fucking uh, Mariah Carey song on the way. <laughs> and then the next thing, you try to sell Roll Atkinson Electric. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> the thing was, what struck me was when I saw you do the club. Because, like, I haven't got the ability to keep a straight face, like, you know what I mean? I'm emotional. So in that situation, I'd just be chuffed that I was on the phone with Ali Bassett. Oh, like, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were deadpanning it completely. Oh, but I used to love it, do you know what I mean? Because we'd, we'd spend fucking hours trying to get somebody's number. Keegan's, like, I got through to his PA, because that's what I do, they put you through the PA, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was speaking to her for about half an hour, saying, look, you know, we're going to go elsewhere, look, you know, he wants to spend yeah, two, yeah. two million quid or 1.7 million quid, I think, was a figure that was being knocked about for Goat Del, like, and, uh, Goat Del, so Sean Gordon has <laughs> fucking already sorted his, spent his transfer fee, yeah. he? he's that signing on fee, bought the new washing machine, he's been down to the sea, he's got up the tank, he bought the new tally, because he wants to turn of the century that. after all. Yeah. But to see, I got again. <laughs> <laughs> Sean got the one point seven million. Yeah, yeah but when you got these people working for these clubs, you know, like the secretaries and all that. You know, if you if you talk like you know what you're fucking on about. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, yeah. believe like, you. If you, yeah, look, yeah, you don't yeah, put yeah. me through, you're gonna cost your club the chance of buying this player or yeah, fucking yeah. selling this player and all that. And they're like, oh yeah, okay, they're trained now. It will be on you and Edla. Yeah, it will be doing yeah, all that yeah. these days. It's different, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's like you can about, spot the black and yeah. a fucking mile off. Like, you know, try and get a Premier League. Try and get like Mourinho's number now. You got fucking no chance. Yeah, you, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Well, not much anyway. But it was quite easy in them days. We know, you know, with most of them. We yeah. Had, so like I say, Steve Bruce. Steve Bruce has done all the boys out there. So we've been to Britain all, so we'd bring him up, he'd fucking go mental. He's <laughs> like Moe the Barman from The Simpsons. <laughs> so, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, with people uh, prank calling him. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was one night we fucking fleeced Bruce, do you know what I mean? And he would prop a fucking freak. He's quite scary on the phone. <laughs> have you seen, Bruce, the, have seen the, the video of uh, Bruce when he just says, you haven't seen that one. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember the fucking the meme of it. Like I'll have to get it up on Twitter somehow. Oh, like, but... Bruce was a bit. He sounded a bit fucking nasty. Like really? Yeah, I want to fuck with him. He's a big Geordie fucker, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Big flat. He's probably, he's probably, probably spring spring out ten yeah. times. He, he said something to me. What did he say to me? He said something like, uh, he, "He said, oh, go fuck yourself up the ass and take a run up. <laughs> take take a run up and go fuck yourself." Oh, <laughs> Thank like, you, Brucey oh, boy. Brucey Wallace there from Steve. It's going to be a tricky fucking move, isn't it? No, <laughs> no one but like a bygone either. Like, I've seen someone pull on Twitter, um, like uh, late 80s. Um, no, like you used to have the, the pink paper of the Sporting Post like on yeah. Saturday. No, all the results would come up. It was green, wasn't it? Yeah, or the green or whatever. Yeah. And uh, no, they'd have like all the results on a Saturday afternoon. Someone posted on Twitter today results from... 1989 or 90 yeah. and uh, fuck you should have seen you know the way football have changed like Man City Chelsea Division 2 um, that's fucking like I just feel play the Swans or is this 89 uh, Davis scored a winner Swans 1-1-0 I assume it must be Alan, Alan. Uh-huh. Um, 5,000 5,500 Newcastle played Newcastle was playing I can't remember they played 24,000 people see James's Park mm. Liverpool played West Ham at Upton Park 30,000 where the fuck are the, the extra 30,000 people come from isn't it like I know we say oh football shit now and there's no atmosphere it's fucking the crowds are almost double what they used to be in the 80s fucking Chinese isn't it? <coughs> yeah, yeah it's don't true. know what yeah, yeah, spot, a lot of yeah. tourism yeah. it's a lot of yeah. it's, just, yeah. it's tourism now yeah right? yeah you know what I mean? I haven't been down this down the Liberty, you know what I mean? It's tourism, yeah. A couple of years ago, and it's like, I don't know if they, I don't want to fucking generalise, do you know I mean? But they look like probably going to be South Korean because they're key and all yeah, that. Yeah, of course, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been from elsewhere, but I presume they were South Korean. And about six boys, like, down the front row, all on the fucking iPads and on their phones. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, halfway through the game and they're all taking well, selfies yeah, yeah, and yeah. photos and all that shit. Of all fucking places, of all fucking places, I went to Millwall, right, in January with Chris. And... 
where we were sitting, uh, Chris said to me, uh, you'll be sitting up where I sit, he said, because that's where, because we had comps off Kevin, yeah. Kevin Nugent, right? So he said, <clears throat> you'll be sitting up with me because that's where all the comps are. Now, the queue for the free tickets, right, was as fucking long as the queue to get in to pay. What do you right? mean the free tickets? Well, people, like, get comp tickets. Oh, right. Yeah, players yeah. for the fans. Yeah, right? yeah. It was fucking huge. So up where we were sitting, be right behind us were, I would say they were sort of Spanish or something, probably five or six. And they were up Millwall for the day. You know, they all bought scarves. Now, I thought they all bought scarves. I said, yeah. Chris, I said, all oh, these are bought scarves now. At least they're putting money in a club. He said, no, fuck that. He said, the, the club mm. give them then because they're sitting in amongst the Millwall fans. Otherwise, you know what I mean? Just oh, so right. that yeah, yeah. they at Just least look like they're there to yeah, fucking yeah, mix like in with the fans. Hooligan tourists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tourism going to Millwall because Millwall's not, not yeah, notorious for yeah, yeah. hooliganism. And they were all there, like literally a five of them down a row, one at the front of the yard. I was like, I know Chris is fucking fuming, like, because he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's proper staunch Millwall. Just have their own little section for that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it was, it was weird. I'm thinking, fuck, you know, because Millwall that day probably, you know, they didn't have a follow, so there was no one here. You know, but they're, they're getting tourists. Uh, yeah, even that level even again. That sort level, of, yeah, you know. yeah. Well, you think about now, and I know there's a connection between the clubs, between Swans and Den Haag. Yeah, yeah. We know a lot of people that have gone, you know, Den Haag to Swansea, Swansea to Den Haag, yeah, you know, sure, yeah. trip. So it has become more of a thing. Now. That's, that's a bit different with that, though, isn't it? Because, you know, yeah, a there's a connection. Thing, and, yeah, there's a connection yeah, with yeah, the clubs. You know, yeah. and they're, like, you know, when you see the groups of Den Haag boys come over, they're proper Swans fans as yeah. well. Yeah, of course they are, yeah. They're, they're, and there's a lot of like, like Mojo and his brother and all that, they are massive Den Haag fans. Yeah, they, they, they are, they're two, three that, that, that's, year, what, that's maybe yeah. not the right um, thing, but I, I saw when I went to Chelsea with my boy last year that, you know, the minute you step off the coach of Chelsea, they're asking you who've got spare tickets. Spare tickets, spare tickets. I couldn't really? walk anyway, spare tickets because yeah. they because they, there's so much money in buying them off me say say I had I had meant to take two of my kids and then one of them couldn't go because he was ill. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so just suck like... and sell them. Well, they'll give that that ticket then they sell three times for his value to some Saudi Arabian or Chinese or something. Yeah, got yeah. pockets full of fucking money. Like where we were sitting, we were three we were on the upper tier, three uh, three rows back, <clears throat> and uh, a young boy come in. Like the game was just about to kick off and it was one spare seat because you know we'd sold out uh, our allocation yeah, yeah. that day. And then he came in and he sat on his own. He had his jacket up, I guess, and he was like Middle Eastern. I could tell he's he's of course, a yeah, yeah. spot him a mile mm-hmm. off, like you know, because you know, everyone up there is all there's like quite a lot of lads where I was and everything. Yeah, <laughs> well no, I don't know. I thought he was gonna get thrown off the upper tier at one yeah. fucking point. But he came in and sat down and like I say it's no skin off my nose I met with my son, like you know what I mean? So it makes no difference to me. But like there was la- there was youngsters that were keen as mustard around him and they spotted him like mm-hmm. so they were like he got Chelsea top on underneath that jacket because they saw like the top of his. Oh, I you see. Know what I mean? oh, he was in the Swans end. He was in the Swans oh, end, right. and he was a uh, like an obviously a tourist Chelsea. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he could only get an away ticket to get in there. No, don't, don't be wrong. Fair play to it. Nobody bothered him. Then yeah, it wasn't yeah. like they started calling him all the cancer or anything like. But it's like, you know, in that situation, you selling an away ticket to a home fan in that it's, 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 no. it's just a bloke who loves his football really isn't yeah, it? yeah yeah of course but, yeah, yeah. you know when you like when it's your club and all that you know because I've seen up the liberty like I've heard you talk about being dinosaurs and all that and it used to be different in the old days and all that it used to be better but yeah. it's true isn't it of course it is you know, yeah yeah he couldn't have done that in, he couldn't have done that he never years. walked on the North Bank as a Chelsea fan with a Chelsea top on even if he had his jacket done up he had, he'd have got found out sooner or later. So he's got filled him in your way end. Uh, and sorry, in the old man at the cup game. It's happened a few times this year. It um it happened at the Man United Cup, the one cup game. There was there was Man U fans in in the home end, you know. And like I said, it it is a different era now, and that would never have happened before, mm. you know. But like, <clears throat> you know, we go into the game on on Saturday. I, I, I they pan to the the Spurs fans and they actually pan to a big section which just seems South Korean. Yeah. Because they've got his son South Korean. Yeah. Players, yeah, yeah. They? yeah, yeah. That they player, are, isn't he? he is a very good player. And they just pan to a section of about fucking six or seven South Koreans all there. Like, you know, in the in the yeah. Spurs end, all the Spurs tops on and that. You know what I mean? Well I doubt very much they're from fucking Islington or wherever, you know, up that way, wherever, yeah. wherever the Spurs neck. But uh, do look like, like all the West Ham fans have had bands this today, I think. <coughs> oh, a lot of the ones who got on the pitch like, you know, chucking fucking coins at Karen Brady. <laughs> Uh, fucking, they've had bands for like, because they can pinpoint you now, but you see... Well, fuck me, it wasn't hard. Did you see the guy that was filming? (laughs) There was a guy that put on Twitter, he had like got some, 
uh, comp tickets right. and was sitting in basically the directors David Golden and I were in front of him right. so he's got his dog and bone out and he's filming the West Ham fans basically standing there yeah, facing yeah. him they were facing and the... he, he said I got it with coins and all that so yeah. if, even if you took his footage because he put it on Twitter you took his they footage you could fucking pinpoint God knows how many for that's what we think off. is the arse going to drop out of it maybe <clears throat> The way they went about is probably wrong, but West Ham fans at the minute do feel like they bang in the air against a brick wall. Yeah, like they, yeah. it's not even just the fact they move the stadium. They reckon the stadium itself is poorly run. Mm, yeah. you no, know, like it's run by outside companies. Yeah, and they said like you can't. They said at three o'clock you're not getting into the ground. There's a massive queue. Well, I noticed it at Wembley, right? Was Swans at Wembley? I, I think it may have been the Reading game. But the stewards like had a proper fucking attitude. Oh, right, right, right. I was going to throw one off a top deck. Yeah, like, yeah, you made me take my flag down. Yeah, they, really? You made me take me down like three times. Every time you made me take it down, as soon as he fucked off, I put it back up yeah, and yeah. he ran my tits. And I think um, we scored the fourth, the penalty, and yeah. he came over and made me take it down again. And uh, I well, like, want to be little shit. security yeah, films, uh, yeah, yeah, I told yeah. him to fuck off, and and the people around me actually kicked off at him because we were all celebrating. Yeah. And when he realised it wasn't just me on my own, they, he fucked off. Then because they're saying as well, like when he goes down for a pint <coughs> half time, they can't get served. You know, it's just a poorly run, poorly run stadium. You, know? you could say teething problems. I know that they they talked about didn't they that they were gonna have seat in that would come up to the pitch. It wasn't like. Basically, it's an athletics fucking stadium. Yeah, of course it? it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Man City changed the the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. so that they So, what is their the plan? Place. And are they going to rebuild their own ground or are they no, going to that's the, that's that's the 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 that? And I, uh, if they go down, the rent goes down by half as well. Is that so? Fucking, they basically like basically got a fucking sixty million pound stadium for like two million pound a year. But it's easy for people to get in and out of fleece clubs with things like that. And they can think, right, you know, it looked like that's what these Americans are doing at the Swans, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like, wait there now, it's like you're trying to take us down well you want the parachute payment to yeah. divvy it up and yeah, fuck off. Yeah, exactly yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course it is. It's exactly yeah. It's, it sums it up there. Like it's a business to the gold and Sullivan the, and these Americans. The, the, this summer <clears throat> will um, it's say less problems if we, if we stay up you know what I mean I don't want to count no chickens on that not yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no danger there <laughs> you're that confident yeah. you're only four points off it man oh, there's, there's, uh, some, there's some shit but there's some bad sides down there yeah, 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 uh, I'm not going to say that we're going to fucking stay up I don't want to jinx fuck all but this summer will like I've said for the last two summers we've got to clear out the dead wood and we've got to bring in some fucking new faces and quality and all that we just haven't done it you know, we're giving contracts to people who shouldn't be getting fucking contracts. And then go on about that all day. I think we probably already have. But this summer will prove now if they're serious about the club, mm. then they will fucking do it this summer. Like, do you know what I mean? You can say last summer, oh, well, that one, we only just got in. You didn't yeah, really yeah, give yeah. us a fucking chance. Yeah. So we just bought the club last minute. This is what I mean? we are all about. Right? You know, this yeah. is... You know, if they, we've got to see in the summer as if they're going to make any sort of fucking statement. I don't think for a second they fucking will. Do you know what I mean? I think they're more concerned about the business and keeping the business running. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? yes, I think when these things happen, right, I, I can't be asked to go online and research to try and find out what's really happening and all that. It's like, but to me, it's like, right, well, if, you know, if there's these American sort of people are going to come in, well, unless they're fucking pumping money into the club, do you what's know what the mean? point of the players? Really? Yeah, what yeah. is the fucking point? Yeah, so I mean, there's not what's in it for the club, you know. But I think that's pretty obvious that there was never anything much in it for the club. It was plenty in it for the fucking shareholders. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. That's that's what it was all about. You know, it was about them getting their coin out of it and fucking good luck to them. You know what I mean? But you know, I have said in the past, <clears throat> they had a duty to us as fans to put us in the correct hands. You know, and it's yet to be seen whether we are in the fucking correct hands. Yeah, like, no, I, I remember. I remember. I won't be able to sum it up as well, but I remember I summed it up at the fucking time, whatever. It was like, with, you know, Jenkins and all these lot. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like somebody helping your nan across the road, isn't it? Yeah. And, and demanding the right to rape her when, when you get. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, I got her across the fucking yeah, road. Yeah. What more do you want? She'd have been knocked over otherwise, exactly, you know. Yeah. She's, she's only going to get raped now. She'd yeah. have been fucking killed otherwise. It's, it's like, <laughs> all right, take your fucking 50 grand back and then. Grab a fucking million on top or whatever, but yeah. don't take the piss. Like it's like you know, and like I say, I don't know if any of this is true. I've read it you there yeah. and everywhere, but apparently when well, not far from here, come D in it when we had a club shop. Uh, I'm thinking, yes, over there. Yes, yeah, like, Why the fuck have we got a club shop in Come D? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's gone. It's now. Like, apparently, have you really? They closed that now because they opened the one in town. 
Apparently, oh, is that right? Yeah. Apparently Martin Morgan owned oh, that place. Yeah, yeah, so he yeah, got the yeah, rent for it. Yeah. When they built that academy thing down Fairwood Way and all that, all the <coughs> companies doing the work down there, he was tied up with that yeah. and all that. So it, you know, yeah, all right, they put their money in when nobody else did. They, you know, good luck to them for making a few quid out of it. I don't fucking begrudge them that. But don't take the fucking piss, because it is a football club, and yeah, it's different yeah. from normal I thought businesses, that isn't it? the Fairwood thing was a bit of a white elephant for me. Like, mate, who'd be down there? Who'd yeah, be down there? Yeah. It's supposed to be amazing. But could it not have it all in one place in Landor? I know, yeah. like, to me, uh, you've got the kids there. Yeah, why and then have you got that there? I just can't see why you've got the two different... For me, imagine the feeling it must be for an under-9 or under-10 <coughs> kid going into the Swans Academy now and going into the training facility and seeing the first team over there, like, that's what you've got to aim for. Like, One yeah. thing I will say that, about, <coughs> about Fairwood is it's massive. You know what I mean? It, the, the area is massive, you know. Well, couldn't you have had everything up there? Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, that, no. Would, that would make more sense. It would It would make more sense if you're going to do an avid all in one place. Fair would have got the space. Well, maybe they you know can use the land of them for the women's football if they can sort their heads out of it. <laughs> God, no. We've already offended enough people, lad. Uh, as it happens, we know when... Um, when you were like, obviously, because you got like 5,000 followers on Twitter. I did until I got kicked off, yeah. Oh, fuck Who yeah. Who was them followers then? Was yeah, you're back to square one if you can. Oh, no, yeah, that's yeah, a bit yeah. harsh, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah, did, you, did you have anyone like giving you shit trolling you or anything like that? <clears throat> well, no, through, through, through Twitter, just like. Um, no, not nothing nothing that bad, to be honest with you. Do you know what I mean? Because the same when I was on that call center, I thought, oh, I gotta get some fucking. Yeah, yeah. Here. And the amount of stick I've had, I can remember each time because it hardly ever happened, do you know what I mean? So I sort of got away with that a bit, you know, because there were a lot of people getting fleeced and that. Mm. But um, I'm a likeable sort of character. So. Yeah, you can talk. <laughs> oh my God, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but we had our first uh, a bit of grief this week. We've, we've been pretty lucky after, like, fucking now coming up 24 episodes. Up. Everything that has been aimed out has been positive, yeah. like, you know, for for large, well, for pretty much 99.8% of it, like, you know, until this week when I was laying in bed Tuesday night, and uh, my missus watches something on TV. I don't know. As my phone goes, I looks at it, and I, I like, as I got like the um, what's it called, like the banner, you know, it comes up on your phone, doesn't it? And I, I'm, I'm reading it before I've even clicked on Twitter, yeah, yeah. and I go, oh, hang on, what's this? That's a bit you harsh. Know, it's, a, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? So I'm looking at it, and I, 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 I don't know if I got the tweet on my phone. I want to read it out, like word fucking for word. word for word, so I, I get, I can do it justice because I'm the guy fucking pissed myself. It spun me up. I thought it was hilarious, right? But, um, hang on a sec, let me fucking get it up, yeah. Where is it? Uh, oh, here we are, here we go, right? <clears throat> Tags it at the AIC podcast, in it? Well, not even either, that's straight, right. Right. Oh, straight, yeah. straight out there. Normally love it, but hope 23 has a few more laughs than 24. Good slice of 24, just add three smug bastards on it. Especially LT, it was obviously Luke. Com- commands respect because Paddy said that Luke when you meet him he's a cop I see so he said he would command respect you know what I mean? he said not for me it was like listening to someone's father-in-law bang on for an hour or two and it says hashtag never wrong right so immediately now I've laughed right because I thought it was fucking hilarious right I thought that so I retweet that <clears throat> no he's come on did you, t- did you seriously take it personally? No, I couldn't go, fuck, really. But I've never been called a smug bastard. Many, many yeah, things. I have many it's not things. a nice word, that, isn't it? You know, I have a lot of things. Yeah. I am a smug bastard. <laughs> I'm s- certain words, people fucking throw them around. Smug. Yeah, I know, it's an I was sitting there. My daughter's tapped it. Yeah. She doesn't even know what smug is. I was laying in bed and I've gone, I just laughed. I fucking hilarious. Like, I sat back and I was laughing. So I was like, fucking take it easy, you maniac. But me retweeting it, I knew that the fucking wolves are on that guy then. Uh, Previous to this, I'd had a conflag with this guy and clicked on his timeline. And let's just say, debauchery, right? Yeah. Would be about a fine word to say. Let's I'm not going to say, say no more than that. Let's just right? say he's a potential Boston priest. <laughs> right. You know what I mean, isn't he? <laughs> they're, they're allegedly. They're, they're, there's some weird, weird things People going on there. No, no, fuck, fuck, no, fuck, no, fuck, no, no, no. Gold, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. So and it's I, definitely a made-up account. My problem is, I'm currently watching the assassination of Gianni Versace, right? And my worry, huh? Is he dead? 
Yeah, he got fucking killed. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm in the middle of watching that now. I got visions of me fucking opening the front door, taking Dawn to Pilates, and this can stab me in the back when I'm not expecting it. That's my biggest fucking fear. You I never know how weird people really fucking really, are. Exactly, like, really. fucking and, and it was like, because it was so out of the blue, to be, I thought it was fucking hilarious. And they said out there, and then the wolves was on him. And he got fucking tormented. Well, yeah, that's the thing when you got lots of like people who listen <laughs> oh, and like yeah. <laughs> send it out there. It's like, well, I'm not gonna say fuck all. I'm, oh, I, man. Just, I just leave it to the Twitter pros. Leave it, to the, public, I? <laughs> leave oh, it yeah. to the pros. I got visions of me being the next Jill Dando he, and all that. He got, he got, he got took apart, but, but um, it was fucking hilarious, Robert. But it just surprised you because I thought, look, I've been called a lot worse than smart. No, but in a way, right? What do you think about it now? In a way, it's fair enough because he's saying, look, I usually like it. I didn't like this one, but I'll be back for the next one. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's not you, is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, hang on. I don't know what the yeah. account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just the word smug, and there's certain words, and it's smug. 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 Like the thing is, I can imagine. There's certain like, words of fucking. Like, like, like right Paddy right said. Paddy probably been called a million things in his life, but never smug. Yeah. Right? The least smug person I know. It's calling me smug won't know that's, that's probably back. spot on that's probably yeah, back yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck but you know me long enough to know when I'm being a smug can most of the time I'm doing it just for a laugh yeah yeah yeah, yeah there's yeah. always a twinkle in my eye and I'm just out of it normal so I can live with that I don't think Luke's gonna fucking cry about it oh fuck he works in London every fucking day I'm sure he's been yeah, going worse exactly, fucking yeah, smug yeah. but I just thought it was like <clears throat> genuinely I'm, I'm sure like this guy without a shadow of a doubt is a cat lover and we, oh, yeah, we yeah, I think yeah, we offended yeah. like cat all lovers. cat lovers last week, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So this is what probably what tipped him over the edge was, you know, he's probably got four cats. You know what I mean? He sleeps with them and all this. Horses, stuff. Twitter, flipping handle. We, we not we just, people can find it if they want it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell him out like that. But I think we offended him with a cats thing, or maybe he's a women's football fan. I well, don't know. just in case he is a complete and utter psychopath, they just really hope you're enjoying the <laughs> 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 yeah. But yeah. you know, like it, there's going to be thing like you, we, we spoke about before Paddy came is that if you're going to give an opinion on something, which you know we always talk open and honestly, you earn. If there's an opinion which people don't like, and I, I'm not the type of can't, you can't talk to me and fucking say, "Oh, right." And I was listening to a podcast this week. You talked about cats. I don't be funny. I'm not a complete and utter nonce, but I do like cats. Like you know, what I mean, oh, there we are, tidy. You know, and then when he turns his back and say, "What a fucking what nonce!" A nonce like that is. But yeah. I like. I always say it if you check. I don't got a fucking problem. Just DM me. Don't put it out there because the minute you put it out there, somebody is gonna see it. Not yeah. mentioning no names, and they're gonna go in all guns blazing on my behalf and Paddy's behalf. Like we do sometimes, we don't need that. <laughs> and plus, it done out in a minute. I couldn't see it. I lost my fucking phone, right? And um, I had a fucking mare. I, first night in New York, I lost my phone, right? I think it was because I had tra- new tracks with bottoms on. I very rarely wear tracks with bottoms because we've been traveling, right? Yeah. You know, loose pockets slipped out. My missus is adamant. We talked to this big black guy who said he was um a professional pickpocket. No, no, I said he's uh, uh what do you call it? He said he's a bodyguard. Right. And we asked him who and he wouldn't fucking tell us, right? So he shook all of our hands. Now my missus is adamant he fucking David blamed me, right? Mm. Played mind tricks and fucking swipe. He's probably right, I, I, of No, he didn't get close enough, right? Hundred percent. He can't have done that. Big fat pig. There's no way they got close enough pickpocket me. I know I have that, right? Uh, phone goes out, uh, lose my phone, goes upstairs, can't find it, comes back downstairs where we were sitting, and the concierge says, oh, there's, um, I don't know where it is, but there was um, airline staff from Mexican Airways sitting in them seats. He said, there's no way they would rob it. It was fucking pilots for fuck's sake. He said, they would have handed the phone in. Don't know yeah, where the phone is. So there's a thing now on who, thing now on who phone called Find the iPhone, doesn't it? Uh, right? On my daughter's phone, you can log into mine and it can turn up like, so logged into that, who phone's offline. Thought fucking end of it. Never fucking hear anything so of that again. That right? Mexican, <laughs> so. Two days ago, Tilly's phone gets a ping, Right? A message or find a new iPhone, right? Yeah. My phone has been turned on. Once it turns on the Wi-Fi, it logs in where you are. My phone has turned up 
in Pachuca, Mexico, right? <laughs> right? In a, in awesome. a house. <laughs> Jerry, right? But what this fucking stupid fucking fajita loving motherfucker don't realise <laughs> is he's taking photos yeah, and it's fucking going, to going on to my fucking eye clip, right? So I got fucking photos of fucking Manuel's fucking daughter's 13th birthday party while he's smashing up a piñata <laughs> and I'm paying fucking three forty pound a month for the phone I am fucking got. The stupid fucking Fujita loving twat. So I'm <laughs> fucked at the minute. I can't really complain because fucking, where the fuck's Pachuca? It's the first Mexico, fucking... Mexico, isn't it? Well, yeah, but <laughs> what part of it? Am I taking a flight to Mexico City? Well, I, I suggest... And I'm turning up, two weeks. turning up with a box of old El Paso. You know what I mean? So I'm fucked at the minute now. I am going to phone. I'm paying £40 a month. I phoned three out. You should. Well, this isn't... Oh, this is you cunts. This isn't the case. <laughs> this is what he want fucking do, see? Fucking stealing people for living. And, um, I paid, started paying insurance two months ago, right? Because I oh, fucking sorry, damaged the phone. Valid. Yeah, he fucking wasn't. He was too busy. telling an automatic response. Yeah, <laughs> telling me my Dixie click is a fuck. That's why I bought the insurance in the first place, right? Um, so I phoned three up. I said, it don't matter. I lost my phone. And fucking the Pachuca and fucking pilot, they got it. I said, it don't matter because I got insurance. Went through an hour's fucking spiel of talking. And then he comes on. He says, oh, no, you got damage insurance. Not lost oh, the soul. You sneaky little cunt. Mm-hmm. That's out of order, that is. That's done me in cold blood. Well, I've got a funny part, but do you read the small print? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking devastated. The Pachuca pilot is taking a piss off me. And now all his fucking photos now are going on to my... Yeah, I'm lucky this didn't happen fucking ten years ago. Because he'd have had photos of Donna giving me a blowy and all that fucking ten years ago. <laughs> but as is now, I'm a family man. Thank fuck, I've just got photos of me in Tilly and Glastonbury. Which is doing my head in mind. The thought that he's logging into my Facebook and everything. Fucking tagging himself and all and fucking Taco Bell. I'm fucked there. I, I, nothing I can fucking do. So I, I, I don't get this. So he still, you can't, you can't like block him from your cloud. No? Well, you, you block the phone. Yeah. Right. So you block the phone, but that find the iPhone. As soon as they connect to the Wi-Fi, it pings up. It comes up like, you know what I mean? But can't you say to them, look, my phone's gone. I know where it is, but it's too fucking far away. I, who the fuck do phone? Have you ever tried Jenkins? contacting Apple? <laughs> You know, honest to fuck. Steve, there's a reason Steve Jobs fucking died. Because uh, his head went because he couldn't think of a fucking phone number. Well, that's the problem I got with Twitter, actually. When they booked me off, it's like... Where the fuck? Who do you get in touch with? Do you know what I mean? Right. Can't even tweet the cunt. Right. Fucking this stupid piss cunt, right, the other week. Put a photo uh, of us up living the dream in the app, right? I needed that photo off. It was too late. I won't say why. I needed that photo <laughs> I off. I don't even remember right? taking the photo. So I phones him up at fucking midnight. He's pissed as fucking bad. He says to me, I am put no photo on, you big dull cunt. Mm. Now I'm looking at the photo of me on Twitter, right? So I need this photo off, right? <laughs> How the fuck do you do it? I goes on to Twitter. Where's the phone number like you would have in the 80s? A mm. phone number, 0800, 0345. Any number you just that reported I the tweet as offensive. I fucking did. did you I know? reported this tweet. This is offensive to me. Twitter messaged me back. No worries. You cannot see the photo now. But every other <laughs> fucker still can. <laughs> so what fucking good is that to me? Where's your fucking phone number? Well, I took it down. Yeah, you took it down. Yeah, you took it down. But that's uh, not what I'm on about. I'm on about what's in this fucking phone number. I'm on about phone numbers. I you know what I mean? Why can't you can't you contact these people? You can't contact yeah. that or to tell them the fucking Pachuca pilot is fucking. Is logging into my fucking Facebook and taking but a piss how, off how me. But how many people, that's the thing, how many people are they going to need to employ in it? It's just like Twitter now. How many millions of people would probably want to bring them up for like, fucking one reason or another? Isn't it? Oh, fuck, yeah, but it's an asshole. Yeah, yeah, you'd be like, ringing them up off about 10 like, different phone lines. Yeah. You're just <laughs> giving them shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fucking moan about call centres and then you fucking want to... <laughs> That's oh, the one thing you maybe, need. Yeah, yeah maybe exactly. that's the thing. It's because the RSN has gone out the fucking PPI and mobile phone insurance. And maybe you can just like subcontract for Twitter. So, yes. so you, can, you can deal with all the fucking you phone calls. You can be the face of Twitter. Well, I'm going to have to have a look at that photo first. Just to see. It was just the best part of it was Paddy won't even bear it. But the yeah. photo was of all the beer in front of Paddy. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, so, my, it was my aunt Alex and all of us we didn't do that. Fuck, I may see her one day. 
Right, we've got to, we've got to get onto it. Beat in Toronto to fuck golf. Let's go through it. Let's get oh, into the well, brass tacks of it. You know, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I'm going to bring it up. So I don't want to blow my own trumpet. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah. Um, how did it, how did you even arrange a game of football? Well, I put on a charity thing, right? There's, I since Jimmy Savile died, I sort of started doing a lot of charity work, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was doing this thing for active throatism. And then I was getting people to donate like prizes for a raffle and yeah, all that. Yeah. So I was just contacting different people <clears throat> and um, spoke to the guy down the foot golf. And he said, Oh, well, you know, because I'd been down at the play or whatever. And I had this idea of like, All right, give four tickets to go and play. Yeah, down there. yeah, yeah. So I went to see him. He said, Yeah, I give out four free tickets as a raffle prize or whatever. And I'm friends with Trundle on Facebook and that. And I thought, oh, be Andy, if you could do something like Yeah, of course. So yeah. I messaged him just on your fucking sake like when you probably asked him to do this, and he's yeah. like, Oh, it's not gonna happen next thing. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah, and I said, oh, I'm doing this uh, charity thing for active for autism. Um, won the pri- I'm trying to sort of raffle out, won the prizes, a game of fuck golf, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You don't fancy coming down, you know, and play, have a game with the fucking winners. I know he's he's good as golden. He was like, oh, yeah, that's just fucking the best great, fucking quality. And he was like, yeah, no worries, Griff, fucking whatever, blah blah. Let me know when and everything. And I thought, like, we're getting. I thought, hang on a minute, fucking raffle, fucking winners. Well, I'm gonna fucking jump on board. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the biggest <laughs> risk since that BBC scandal. So, Griff winning this is the reason BBC can't do competitions anymore. No, so there was there was two kids won won the raffle genuinely. Like, yeah, so I yeah, thought. Yeah. I thought, right, well, it's three, and may get the fucking four ball. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I practically blanked these kids on the fucking days. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Said hello at the start. Their old man was scoring and all that. You know what I mean? And I just had this thing in my head. Imagine beating this kind of thing. Like, fucking imagine that. And I thought, that's not going to happen, is it? You fucking don't be, don't be daft. Like, it was on my birthday yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, first couple of holes, I go like I'm two two or three shots in front. I'm like, oh, hang on a minute now. What? <laughs> three, two or three shots in front of the seven and eight-year-olds? Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, Trundle was in front of the rest of us. No, but I thought, I'm fucking, I'm beating Trundle by her, do you know what I mean? Right. And, you know, he's trying his best. You know, anybody ends up professional football, competitive, and they? Yeah, 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 Even at the end, yeah. like when they won and he was shaking hands and you could see he's fucking a bit gutted, but you're like, <laughs> probably not the worst moment of his career. Like, but he would have probably been a lot happier winning. Like, yeah, you know fuck I mean? yeah. So I was, like, one point, I was, like, five or six up on him, like, you know, and his 18 holes, uh, and then from, like, the 12th, 13th, 14th, he was getting a shot back, a uh, shot back, uh, and I thought, oh, you're just going to fucking blow us now, like, yeah. like you've done your whole fucking life, you remember the fucking chance, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to sum it up. You're a fucking call centre legend, <laughs> and then he ends up walking off into the sunset past Macro. Yeah, exactly, on your birthday, fucking draw a five-shot fucking lead. And I think it was two holes to go, and I was two up at that point, and then he got a shot back on the 17th. On the 18th then, he was in, and I had two shots right from the edge of the green, right? But with, with fuck, well, this course, anyway, sometimes yeah, with a football, yeah, it'll fucking roll forever once yeah, yeah, you right. off course, and these greens yeah. are a bit fucking fast, and they're all over the fucking place. So I was just in this little bit of, what do you call it, rough yeah, yeah, on yeah. the edge of the green. I was about... Six foot away, probably, and I had fucking two shots mm. to win from that. So I thought, and then after the old fucking dip down, yeah, yeah. I'm going a bit deep. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, so I, I, I'm in thought, I'm in <laughs> thought. This is like the end of the seat. You're not in my bro, yeah. <laughs> fucking sweat coming off me. Come on, Griff, we're fucking him on the edge of his seat. <laughs> so I took my first shot. Yeah. And uh, scuffed it, right? And it just rolled out of the rough and fucking rolled about one or two foot. So I was. Look further away for this second shot, you know, than I was open, but obviously it went in as we all know because I beat him. Um, but yeah, very proud moment actually. <laughs> I made a video down the fuck golf this week, got a hole in one in this video. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's on the uh, bit of a dark horse. On, 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 I, I, I messaged Trundle because I sent you the tweet tonight, right? No. I, yeah, I remember I sent you the tweet. Him, right. right, not the yeah, yeah. I didn't want to send you this because I wanted to say it now, right here, oh, yeah, right? You go. So. <laughs> Obviously, you probably haven't seen it either. Like so I tweeted on Monday. Fucking ep- pilot have. Episode 23. Yeah. You know, uh, my usual thing now when I do the setup, you know, with Griff currently banned from Twitter. Um, but here's Griff explaining about the time he beat, and I tagged Lee Trundle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up Fuck Golf. And then the video that Griff did, 
right? It's got a clip in it. Yeah, it. so I put the I, t- I put the YouTube video in so anyone could watch yeah, it. Yeah, and it's course, funny, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? It's it, only about three or four minutes long, isn't it? Two minutes. Right, yeah. two minutes. So, I, right. So Trun sees it, doesn't he? Because Trun was always on to it. Yeah. So he likes it and he's messing me straight about it. So this is what he oh, said, fuck, right? Here we go. He did beat me, boys. But he, <laughs> he has the worst technique you'll ever see. Imagine the tin man with a pair of cowboy boots on the wrong feet <laughs> trying to kick a ball and you're halfway there. Hashtag Griff Fuck Golf King. Yeah, um, he's, no, he's from he's, the main man. <laughs> bit of truth in that, yeah, you know. I, uh, I had these fucking weird pair of trousers on that day as well. These trousers were too tight, right? Why are you wearing trousers? To well, yeah, well, I don't fucking do shorts for these yeah, yeah, pants, yeah. I mean, it had been raining as well, right? And I had these trainers with not much fucking grip in them. Yeah. So you know, I was teeing off. I thought, my mate was filming it. I thought, I'm going to go fucking ass over tip you every time I was teeing off. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, my technique did suffer a bit. Like, <laughs> so maybe I, the unorthodox, unorthodox style might have won it for you. Like. Well, I threw him a bit. Like, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. I did a little interview with, interview with him at the end. Like, Where are you know? these two kids? You fucked the two kids right off, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. God, up! They've been yeah. fucking six hundred pound for the prize, didn't they? <laughs> they were still back on the night. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. green at this point. We had yeah. to go off without them. They did well, actually. One of the kids only about five shots behind the eventual winner. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it was good. But he, yeah, when I interviewed him after, he he was on about yeah, well done, Griffs. You were kicking someone with two toes, with three toes, and <laughs> so yeah, no. My t- well, he said he, he, he said he said he wants a rematch. Fuck, hey, will you be listening to Lee any fucking time, son? Well, if he, like, I want in as well. Yeah. It'd be like Apollo yeah. Creed Rocky too, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, like, I give a side. Do you know Richard Crocker? Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Well, which, yeah, which, yeah, which, yeah, oh, which Richard Crocker? Yeah. He's a, like, Saint, what's it called? This, uh, Bishop Vaughan, is it? He's, I think he's from Asia, the Catholic school. Ah, no, he's Pentra uh, Crocker as well. Oh, right. Yeah, Crocker. But Pentra. I worked with him in, in Nevs, actually. He worked right, there for yeah. a bit. And he was on about, um, there's a couple of fundraisers in a, you know, like the Mitchell guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there was another guy as well. Chrissy, 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 that's Chrissy. the one, yeah. And I said the Crockers, because he was on about doing another fundraising thing for these boys and families or whatever. And uh, I said to him, why don't you do like an F, a fuck golf, like an FA Cup, yeah? Yeah. And, you know, do a draw and all that. Every chucks money in, you know, to enter. And you know all the boys. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Teams. You get five five from St. Joseph's, yeah, yeah. five from S. You know, five people from each team. We'll fucking smash them. Do a big fucking, <laughs> big, big draw, like an FA Cup draw. Trundle will come in it. You know, you get as many people yeah, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some of the superstars of golf, for golf like yeah. Trundle, uh, <laughs> Griff, Griff. <laughs> Do a draw and everybody's got a range between themselves, you know, when they play their games and all that. Do like an FA Cup knockout thing or whatever. Eventual winner then, and do it as a fundraiser as well. I think it break through the summer, but you know, Crockers, if you're listening, get on to it. Son. You've thought this through. Yes, well, he wants to defend his title. Because I can't it? wait for the summer, man. Who knows what's okay. happening in the summer? Well, the it's Cup. the fucking World Cup, man. Yeah, you know, ambition is critical, World Cup special. Me and him are going to be like St. Greaves here from outside, <laughs> broadcasting outside the Kremlin. Yeah, Honestly, I, I can't know. wait. We are going. We, well, we, we are going to throw some fucking plastic chairs. We are going full on. England support this Are summer we? with this oh, yeah fuck, fuck yeah I'm go over it. I'll be singing fucking John Barnes is rap in the world of water for on, England. on this podcast we are going to be supporting England full on I'm glad, I'm glad we discussed this before no. well I'm going full on <laughs> we, we're going full on England the other day I was like I- you know, so he just was it March now? No, yeah, it was in my garden. I was like, oh yeah, it's fucking World Cup this year, and then it was changes like, the whole summer. Then it was like, oh fucking Wales didn't qualify today. Do you know what I mean? Well, Dublin, can we never do anyway. No, you know what I mean? Can't no, you, but, winning, but, like, but after the Euros, England's shit. Uh, England 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 shit to watch. Oh. Huh? England is shit to watch. Oh fuck! Oh, I haven't seen the fucking teams they got: Panama, Tunisia, and I think Belgium. So that's a fucking. What an easy fucking... So what, what, what are you thinking for the World, World Cup uh, podcast? Oh. On, the, on the games or... Um, I don't know. We Is have... it a Russian embassy in Swansea? Yeah. We'll go down... Obs- uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll go down it. Obviously we'll be in full boiler suit mode like yeah. that fucking guy in Essex who just got poisoned. You know what I mean? What's the kick-off times in Russia? And it will, will be quite normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eleven, two, and so, fucking. I like it. We can have to start. We can have to start. Two o'clock in the afternoon, six o'clock, yeah. nine o'clock. It's not like the Mexico that. City ones, and they're on like four in the fucking morning. Oh, the oh. worst one, South Korea. Was it oh, that was a nightmare. Half, half six we we were coming in. We were in Cavos, and we yes, we were right. walking in from the fucking nights out. Yeah, you know what I mean. At six in the fucking morning, thinking, "Well, I'll get my head down here now." And as you walk it's into the, our bar, it was twenty yeah. hours. Yeah. The fucking games were kicking off. But that was actually because it was in fucking. It was in Cavos, yeah. So it actually worked out perfect because you got. It can ruin a fucking World Cup. That's stupid. Of course it can. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. don't remember much about the quarterfinal stage. Well, it's all World Cup. World Cup was when they had the Qatar one a fucking Christmas. What the fuck's that all about? Busy you know what I mean? I We'd be listening to fucking that. live that that watching now? fucking that, England versus Germany. Is that moving move to Christmas? Is that what well, they're saying? Yeah, yeah, because of the fucking Yeah, fucking Auckland all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They ripped fucking Australia right off. They said to Australia, you'd have to have it in the summer. <coughs> and then well, the Qatar money come rolling in. Yeah, let's not even say well, earlier about football being fucked when you start having the World Cup in Qatar. You see them when they did the vote and it's like, oh, Qatar, they're all like... Yeah. Where the fuck's Qatar? Yeah, I got a bit of Qatar on my chest. You like that. The only time we've ever been so we were just like right in yeah. that guitar Fuck. when uh, we always used to we was in what college. Was, I bust my fucking leg right play, playing football <clears throat> and I was fucking laid up for a bit and obviously I grew up in Mount Pleasant so I was in my mother's and Paddy and the boys when they were in fucking Mount Pleasant Tech they used to come over my house on my break yeah. you know what I mean where I was because I was laid up on a set he used to just keep me company for a bit and then they go back to college and I got fucking ill as fuck like proper flu up worse than I ever felt I was, I was sinusitis to fuck I was fucking chest was fucked, my throat was up, and they come walking in. I was so ill that I couldn't even fucking placate them for two minutes. Like, do you know what I mean? And as they were coming in, I was waving them back up, going, ah, oh, yeah. Saying, I've got Qatar. I got Qatar. We did what the fuck? We did that. I've never heard that before. I was, fucking carving, life. I was carving up bits of fucking lung under the fucking living room floor. Like, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard of it. I got Qatar. You know, don't forget, we, we, we were on over there, we was over there, we was Mitchin, like, we were 19 years old, fucking doing leisure tours of Mitchin. I, I was, I was yeah. ill as fuck, in between I was coming off morphine as well, I was having fucking nightmares and things like that, because I had operation. It is a bit of a nightmare coming off morphine, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can, I can vouch for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to that. Hey lads, when I got you, I forgot. I, didn't, I don't like going anywhere empty-handed. Oh, no. oh we always accept gifts. Oh yeah, huh? we do like a gift. We like fucking Jesus and Lazarus. I'm glad there was no babies yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, fucking hell, yeah. I could do without it. I need a quick piss, so I don't. I get embarrassed. We need to give somebody a present, don't I? Yeah, oh, don't worry, mate. We'll open it. Fuck me, I will tell you if it's shit. Don't worry about that. Right. I don't know who's this. Who's you? See, one minute we mentioned in Qatar Christmas, yeah. next thing, yeah, he's are. busting up the fucking presents we like know, no red ones this morning. Right. There we go, lads. Oh, let's let's describe right? these. These are Thanks for presents um, it wrapped in Lego wrapping paper. Yeah. Absolutely top draw. Griff had gone for a piss and he says he's embarrassed. Yeah. Oh, hang on. What have we got yet? Yeah. Oh, right. We've got t shirts. Oh, lovely. Oh, hang on. What are these? I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite. Oh, look at these. Look at the back pad. Right. We've oh, got, I love it, life. We've got t shirts. Yes. With our names on the back. Prince number three. And Paddy. What are you, Pad? I'm number Paddy eight. number eight. Oh, Paddy like Stephen Gerrard. Yeah, yeah, I'm not fucking. So let me check this t shirt on. Fuck off this Lyle and Scott. We don't need this anymore. I hope he's got me a medium now. Now I'm nice and slim. He's got me an XL. Yeah, I'll probably fall through the fucking neck. Diabetes a kick there. Oh, no, it fits all right. It fits all right. Oh, fits that's... like a glove. Sticks up in five places. <laughs> fits like a glove. I can't be bad. I couldn't be bad in tonight. Oh, fuck. No, uh, I fucking... Fuck. <clears throat> I'm, um... I go run Saturday because obviously the marathon's coming up now. I'm a month away. Right? Right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I got... Like, my feet are in a shit state. Right? right. My knees are fucked. I mean, I mean also... I, have you, I hope you got Griff on the back of that, have you? Oh, there we go. 40. <laughs> Squad <laughs> numbers. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <coughs> number oh, of convictions. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, fuck her, yeah. Fuck awesome, that, really, that. awesome. Are the numbers right there? Numbers, numbers, yes. numbers, oh, right, numbers right for me. Best right footed left back in Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do a bit of research, like. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it was yeah fair play. Put it in. I uh, Thank you for that, Griff. I got plenty nice extra large and I got yeah. large. Yeah, yeah. I'm about right. Like, I'm fucking. I don't know how. 
that I'm I'm seen to be fitting into medium clothes these days, but I'm as heavy as I ever was. I the the, the running had done something to me apart from turning me into a fucking rugby rebel. <laughs> You're running a marathon, aren't you? Well, that's happening in a month. But I got my last big run on Saturday. Me and Paul Lowell. Oh, last going up. big run. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> well, and you've got to. We're like Jane Goody when yeah, uh, Jane Goody done the marathon, and she fucking had to get the St John's ambulance yeah, two miles in. So yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's not before. it's my last. God rest the soul, the people's princess. I got my last big last training week. run right. on Saturday, so it's 22 miles. So um, me and Wolo are going out. I wanted, Sorry to the SBR, SBR boys, I'm not bending you. It's yeah. just uh, Tina's working and I have, my old man's going to bend over me, selfish cunt. Oh, so I, yeah, I'm the gonna, annual Roxburgh yeah, doula. Yeah, so I, I haven't got anyone to have the fucking kids. So we're going out a little bit later, so I can't go at six in the morning with those right, fucking yeah, yeah. So at least I get to have a bit of a fucking lion. Is Wolo doing a marathon as well? He's doing a Manchester marathon the week before I do mine. So it's his last big run as well. Right. So we obviously I still be running in a, in a lead up to the marathon, but I, I can't be, imagine I'll be running. I was going to say not for new Griffin, <laughs> fucking running new trousers, and he true, like us. True story. There's Griff of the goal centre wearing MC Armour pantaloons in his football. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, this is true, this is now. It's going to sound like it's not. But I'm walking a marathon on April the 1st. My next charity event, right? Right. Yeah, you can check online. It's called Forest Gimp's Big Day Out. Nice, <laughs> I, I, I like it. I already yeah, yeah, like same it. Same charity. Yeah, I'm going to do it along the prom because it's flat. Yeah. Right, yeah. I've sort of had this idea, fucking back in January, I thought that would be a good idea. Because I was doing a lot of walking at the time. Of course, yeah. Get yeah. And everything, and my sort of... Uh, Training for want of a better word has sort of slipped off a bit. Oh, no. Are you still doing it though? Yeah, but not as sort of uh, thoroughly as I should be, considering yeah. this week Sunday, I think it is. Do you know what I mean? How long will it take to walk them out of it? Well, well, like, on, on my current. Seven hours? Yeah, on my, yeah. Current, on my current running form, I'm not getting somewhere around. 4.15 or 4.30. So you think walking will double it? Well, then? I walk from the 360 calf, right? You know, up to St. Allen. Yeah, of course I do. From yeah. there, down to Birdies. <laughs> yeah. And back. 53 minutes there, 53 minutes back, and I think that worked out for 8.2 miles. Fuck, if you've got another fucking 20 miles to go, you mm. lunatic. Well, how many times are you going to do that? Well, if I did that route, it's like three times, and then i got to go back down. The, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start further. I'm going to start the 360 calf, go down yeah. to like the pier. Right. I'll put a couple of those apps on my phone so I can see how far I've fucking gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prove I've done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done Have it. a photo with that big monkey at yeah. the end of the pier, like. I think I'd be fucked with that because every time I pass birdies, I'd have to have an hazel in a basket. Well, it's fucking. Have you tasted one there? No, oh I'm, my I'm, god, they're the fucking best ice cream in the fucking world. Because it's oh, a walking thing, you know. You know, I'll have my stop and have yeah, ice yeah. cream and all that shit. I mean, but I get down to the pier, pop in birdies, you know. Yeah. It? It's going to be. I've never walked 26 miles in a day before, so even if it takes 10 hours, it'll give me something to beat next Yeah, year, fuck, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No worry, yeah. like. Yeah. But I'm a bit daunted by it, to be honest with you, because it's like, just mentally, because I've done like eight, ten mile walks, so I've been only, do you think, fuck, wait then, I've agreed to do this, it's like seven hours. Yeah, it yeah. almost seems yeah. like a good idea before you start actually thinking about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And once you, once so you just, commit to that. That's how the most of the stupid things I've ever done in my life well, 99% of the students I've done in my life, I've done drunk. Yeah. So signing up for these things, I was half cut at least yeah, when I yeah. signed up for them. Like, do you know what I mean? So you think, ah, fuck, I need something to do and turn it into a but fat when, 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 you, when you decided you were going to do a marathon, yeah, how fit were you at that point? How far um, did you uh, Yeah, I was, I was a little bit out of shape at that time. I would, when I trained for the half marathon, I was right out of shape. I was 13 stone nine. I was like a fucking pig. I was out of fucking breath going up the stairs. This was... December of 2000 and what are we now 18 yeah this is and when did I run a half this is December 2015 because I ran a half in 2016 got myself fit ran a half then you like you you because you don't have nothing to do we sort of you, you taper everything down didn't you so I was running maybe once a week but when you say out of me. breath up the stairs you actually mean that <clears throat> it was genuinely yeah it was, I like, was completely out of shape how, when, I, when I talk about me being unfit I'm on about proper fucking oh, well, unfit fuck. I, my I, plan I, was to walk to, and build it up into running do yeah. you know what I mean because I'm so unfit yeah. if I started jogging I'd, I'd, I'd be surprised if it lasted two minutes yeah. literally yeah, but yeah, you've, yeah. You, you've got you've, got, this, a, you've like, got to start somewhere you've got to start somewhere like the, the first you know, going back then, like the first run I did is the worst, it's fucking hanging. You're like, I'm not going to do this again. Like, I think I managed three miles and I was fucked. And bear in mind now, I've been fit all my life, played football yeah, all my life, no, I, boxed, you know what I mean? And I, I, I do a lot of running when I, I boxed and stuff. And I was only a, but muscle memory comes back for someone like me 
<coughs> quicker than Aussie people who um, box is Amazon. Fit, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like it came back for me. So even this time when I was a little bit out of shape, it didn't take me long. Uh, like when I say I was a little bit out of I shape, I like could well, still run ten k. I can imagine him being a smoke guy. Oh, yeah, 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 smoke yeah. is not smoke is not good food. Just no. in case you know, <laughs> never knew. Like the photos of the dead babies on the back. It did a giveaway, did it? Huh? No, I, I, I know I. I don't know. I you, give I give it a bit of like, apart from fucking smoking. To be honest, with you, do you know yeah. what I mean? And like that was my plan. probably need that. Don't you? That was my plan. Though. Yeah. yeah, but it's, that's what'll kill me, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Not yeah. having a noble fucking death that fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my plan was to walk, and I was like trying to power walk. You know? Not, yeah, yeah. I, but I it think, was like that. That power walk and it's very noncy, isn't it? Even in the Olympics, yeah. like, oh, no, you know... Wouldn't they give it yeah. the problem? You give yeah. the no, you I, I, going yeah. in, I don't like them power walkers. Them power walkers just like power walk and cat lovers. If I power walk, I just wouldn't smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can power smoke. <laughs> power, power smoking. I'd walk... I'd, when I get the 360 calf, I thought, right, when I get there, I'll check the time. And I was walking down to, like... You know, if it was a quick one, I'd go down to West Cross and I'm back, or yeah. 30s and back. And I think, right... When I'm doing this, I'm gonna count this exercise. I'm not gonna stop for a fag, sit there, fucking mm. pop with a fuck goal. So yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go Post it up on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna just, you know, do it like I did it every day through January. You know, I was doing it properly. I thought I'd build it up, build it up, and then start jogging and all that. And yeah. It's just going to the fucking dog's pad. Yeah, that's what fuck That's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah. happens. Like, I, honestly, I, if. if I don't many people have half assed marathon training like I have because I'm I'm fucking drunk with I even joined the fucking again. gym. I joined the YMCA gym, right? Because my, my daughter does uh jiu jitsu upstairs. It was only like eleven quid a month. Cool. I thought yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, all, yeah. Yeah. Um so you know, I was going and all that, yeah. I thought it was fucking this is this is eleven quid a month, this is well worth it. Yeah, it's working out now. It's costing me about twenty-two pound a fucking hour. That's how <laughs> <laughs> so much it works yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, to embarrass the good old and cancel it. Of course, now, yeah, yeah. Especially with the YMCA, the cowboy will say, hey, "Griff from the cold set." What are you doing? <laughs> And I gotta keep going back in there to take my daughter to Jiu Jitsu. So. Who, who going in there with like a false moustache yeah. and fucking look red paint over the eyes and cut out and all that? I just put my hand on my jumper limping off. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, be back yeah, once yeah. I get over these fucking injuries. Just down walk 26 miles on the prom, I swear yeah. not coming in. But I, yeah, so a week Sunday I'm doing that. Yeah, if anybody wants it tonight, it's, um, what's it called again? Forrest Gimp's big day out. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. Good, luck with, yeah, Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Looking forward to it. I'm not going to come down and run with you. No. So I'll be tapering it down at that point. <laughs> when did you run? Through, uh, four weeks Sunday. Oh, no, mine's before. It's April 1st, mine is. Yeah. Oh, it's back all this Sunday? Yeah. Oh, I'd be fucking thousands oh, fuck. down there. We, we, we'll still, probably still be out. Yeah, oh we'll yeah, yeah, keep yeah. We'll company, we'll get some cans from the arches like we used to. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll go sit in the beach and sh- Well, I hope we don't get a few of my mates and that to come down and, you know, the buckets and yeah, all that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 buckets yeah. along the prom, collected fucking hundreds in the past, you know, with the kids. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll Especially see. with daughters fucking doing jujitsu and all the fuckers without we don't pay. <laughs> well, talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> done one of them once and it was me my daughter and two these two girls are now and their kids and one of the I won't say the name but one of the one of the girls' sons I just call him Rooney right he looks right. like fucking Wayne Rooney and he just go up to somebody yeah there's two kids with a bucket one of them quite well spoken yeah, yeah. And fucking Rooney and uh, one of the kids would go up and say excuse me would you like to donate we've collected money for active fraudism today and and then the other kid then Rooney would just go up and be like can I have some money yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got yeah. somebody else in the back. Can I have some money? And every single person who was walking over, they couldn't resist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Collect about fucking six hundred quid walking up down the. Prom. He was worried he was going to end up shagging a granny, wasn't he? That's what he was worried about. <laughs> fucking you little fucker. Well, there's plenty of time for that. I think it's only about <laughs> ten at the moment, but you never know how it'll pan out. Like, because <clears throat> we were talking about pad. This is in this before you know. Just before you came in, Griff had done a bit of stand up. Right, yeah, right. yeah. No, yeah. I was telling Griff that you, you know, thought of maybe doing a bit of stuff. Yeah, in the yeah, past. yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should. And uh, we, we just, dis- Griff, you just, dis- you tell Paddy how yours went. Oh, thanks, Roy. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, I enjoyed it. I put the guy off for fucking life. No, I was just explaining to Ryan before you come here. Um, tried it myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah, First of course. First time yeah. it went quite well, do you know what I mean? 
Second time it went, you know, sort of very well. Yeah, yeah. practice, written stuff, blah blah blah. You know, went down well. Come over, feeling all great and all that. Yeah. Third time, I had a complete fucking nightmare. It was shit. People were just staring fucking straight through me, and I'd uh, never done it since. I can imagine that. I've been fucking nagged by fucking loads of people, you know, like me and you would be totally different. Like you were deadpan fucking. Uh, and I'm the fucking dog, and I come on stage barking and fucking. That to see that would work better if, but, you, if you know what you're doing. It's hard when you're starting off, and it's just like. What puts it? You've got to go to like an open mic night. I know yeah. exactly what to do. You've got to go to open mic night, and you've got to like go there with none of your friends, and then see how it works. Like so, I think you do open mic nights in town. My biggest worry is you're gonna go to these open mic nights, and they follow students. Uh, who, no, full of students with the comics, like right. you know, students try and stand up and they try mm. to be clever and all that. And I comes on in talking about shagging, fucking jumping into bed, my fucking grandmother, yeah. and it's just going to be lost. And I'm like, but as it, no, but you need to find your own crowd, innit? You yeah, know? partly think so. People, best place like, to look is about 1988. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fucking 80s as fuck. I don't know, like. People like us don't do shit like that. Don't yeah. they? That's sort of the, the thing that puts you off the most. You think, oh, fucking hell, people like me don't do... Yeah, but surely it. now, like, <clears throat> we're doing this, we sort of, we've already overcome one hurdle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no right, yeah. sorry, I, I know what you mean. Oh, well, fuck that, didn't I? Do you know what I mean? You look at some of the best comedians about or whatever, like, you know, somebody like Peter Kay or something, yeah? Yeah, of course, yeah. And, you know, he just talks about fucking biscuits. And yeah, stuff, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? And some of the stuff he talks it's about... It's relatable. It's, it's, have to be, it's not all deep as fuck and all yeah. that. It's just normal, everyday stuff, yeah, which everybody can fucking relate to, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? You know, and some people are funny, do you know what I mean? Some people are funny and some people aren't, do you know what I mean? And I think... Because you didn't you used to do the introduction well, for the boxing I'd and be all that. Like, like, you know, I've done it before. Like, it's, it's just one cold fucking... Stand-up. Stand up. You just called fucking like Chris Ware, fucking out of the fucking blue at fairness. But he had like a 10 year Funky Pump awards. Like yeah. he said, Oh, Pat, will you do it? Like, and it was like really out well, of like the a fuck. Comp- yeah, thing. Yeah, comp- best sort of thing. Like, you know, like MC the night. And he was thinking, Fuck, out the blue. But all that was really was stand up, yeah. being a stand up because all you're doing is slating everyone in the fucking room yeah. and making people laugh. So basically, it's what he did. And same as like next week, now we'll have the Grovel our night. Before we used to have a comedian, patient the comedian Grobler, comes right. with Grobler. We got no Bruce Grobler. Oh, right. Oh, it's uh, like doing a gentleman's doing like a after gentleman's dinner. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, we used to always pay for a comedian. Yeah. But he was always heckled off because he'd come on and just tell jokes. Well, he's wasting four hundred pound when I can just go on there, yeah. and everyone who bought the ticket, I know, and I'll just fucking. They like him as well, like, but he yeah, like will be back. back. But I got a fucking mic. You know no, what I mean? they're more like especially that's the thing with stand up as well. You know. When, Cause I used to put on my own nights and all that. Right, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And certain places, doing people are pissed as fuck. Yeah. People can't be asked, can they, to listen to... Of course they can. Yeah, they're not interested, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, in the right place, it works. But in the wrong place, it's just a fucking nightmare. Yeah, right? yeah. So, it, to, to learn how to fucking do it in front of a load of... They've never asked me once to do it at one of the works do's. Right, so yeah. I was like, like a talent night. Like, yeah. you, you've got fucking no chance. Like, yeah. you know, the last thing I'm going to do is try and get through to all these fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. Slaughtered. You're wasting, yeah. like, like you're on about with comedians getting fucking booed off because by then everyone's pissed as fuck. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah they can't yeah, be fuck. fucking arsed, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody's talking and all that. Yeah, all if, that. You, if, you, if you were to go into a proper, like, essay... Uh, comedy night yeah do you mean where it wasn't like a fucking Friday night and everyone's just getting yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like a Tuesday comedy night People are there. well in America it's massive it's massive because yeah. this is what I heard this week and I only just thought of this I listened to Bill Burr this week and like obviously Bill Burr is a stand-up comedian yeah, yeah. probably the best stand-up comedian in America at the moment in my opinion and he said like you know when you're starting out and you're bombing he said like you know if you have 10 jokes you're on for 5 minutes and you've got little say 10 jokes like if nine completely miss and suck, but one gets a sort of reaction, then yeah. that's the one. Do you know what I mean? And he said, in after time, you build your act by Drop knowing that one will you, turn you, you into just, just cut the shit yeah. out. Yeah, you know, so yeah. you, you, you come up with new jokes, you've got five new jokes, you put them in, only one works, so you keep that one, you yeah, add that one with yeah. that one, and then before you know it, then you've got an act. Yeah. So, you know, when you're starting off, you're only doing five minutes here or ten minutes there, maybe. Do you know what I mean? You're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's only little small sets, like, and you said you every comedian ever, they, they, they're still 
bombing now. Yeah, uh, actually, course, yeah. Bill Burr's got a quite famous one, which I only saw the other day, about three weeks ago, where they they had him in for some uh, charity thing. It was in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. And it was it was in the day mm. in like an outside arena, right? right? So he said it had all the hallmarks of being a fucking disaster. Yeah. And there was a massive group of people there that were just heckling all the comedians. Right, yeah, yeah. And some of them were getting away with it. Some of them were. By the time Bill Burr came on, he didn't want to do the fucking gig and he went out and he literally just trashed Philadelphia for right. like about 15 oh, minutes. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's one. fucking tremendous. Because he doesn't even tell a joke. Right. He just goes out and shits Slag all over him. Off, really. He literally shits all over him. But he got sort of like... A bit of a cut forward. Well, like, yeah, sort of it was... He got negatives as well because people were like, that was unprofessional as fuck. You should have yeah. just gone out and done your set. Like, you, you know, you fucked it for everyone after you as yeah, well. Yeah, like, yeah. But it's fucking tremendously oh, funny. Oh, his attitude is like, fuck you. It's amazing. It's, if, you just, if you just put in Bill Burr, Philadelphia set, it'll come up like, you know what I mean? You come that's the thing, like we said, because it's such a big thing in America, in America, there's comedy nights yeah, everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah. You tell me one fucking comedy night in Swansea. Uh, I, yeah, I tried, I tried, but I put them on in the past and it's just fucking hard work to get people yeah, to go. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, like, regularly, I was doing them like once a month or whatever, you know, those Which cinema, cinema and co. Was right, they got it, yeah. I did them last, about a year ago was the last one I did. Getting some half decent comedians or whatever, but because we're in the fucking arse end of nowhere, isn't it? If you get people is, coming yeah. from like London or whatever, it's a fucking fair track. Yeah, it? yeah. In, so you go pay them decent money, so you need decent amounts of people turning up. I'd love to have a fucking comedy club. It's yeah, yeah. like a proper comedy club where people go there to actually listen to the fucking comedians yeah, coming. Yeah. Rather than, you know, everybody's pissed as fuck and comedian's just a fucking hindrance, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. So sometimes when you have a comedian, like, it's nothing worse than, you know, like, someone will stand there and tell you a joke and I'm fucking waiting for the punchline you've got to pretend to laugh and sometimes you think, are they just making a punchline up just to fucking see if I'll feel it's just awkward, laugh? It? Jokes are awkward, like, yeah. he fucking, he does my fucking nothing, I can't handle them. Yeah, but you're just going to go on, you're going to do your thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. telling stories I used to try and do, like, do you know what I mean? Like, true things, like, but you know, twisted a bit, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember when my youngest daughter <coughs> was about, she's seven now, when she's about two or three, I used to take her to nursery yeah, in the uplands and uh, I'd push her up in the buggy, yeah, fucking take her into nursery or whatever, because <clears throat> there was nowhere to leave the buggy. I used to have to take the buggy home, so I used to have to walk home. Just pushing the buggy. Yeah, yeah, it was empty yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I wrote this comedy fucking bit based on that. Yeah, yeah. Know, people would always come up to me, oh, where's your baby? <laughs> ah, yeah, you know, oh, you lost your baby. Ah. And uh, I'd end up telling them I was a dangerous predatory pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I looking for careless parents. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd written like this five minute thing, you know, yeah. based on being like a 40 yard drill old bloke walking around the uplands with an empty buggy and that. So, Rather than writing jokes and course, all that, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that yeah, I, I couldn't yeah. even rem- remember it. Yeah. Mean, my memory's fucked. Like, so that's part of the reason I I can't do stand up because I can write stuff or whatever, and I can't even remember it anyway. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But if you just telling stories which course, are based yeah, yeah. on truth, you know, you, know, you can yeah. recount fucking hundreds yeah, of fucking yeah, stories. Yeah. I mean, you do it on you, like do you know what I mean? So you just pick the best ones that people can sort of relate to. Or whatever. Yeah. Podcast is finishing, then I I got the right material. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can go back to fuck off. <laughs> yeah. well, let's stick to what we fucking good yeah. at. Like, did you see that? Uh, no, I've been on about fucking driverless cars. Right? Oh my fucking god! Did Uber. you see the woman got killed? Oh my lord! Have you seen her? I barely hate Uber anyway. Do you? Right, Uber, a bunch of nonces. Yeah, they fucking right bits and all that. Aren't they? Right, the dodgy as fuck Uber, and basically they're just taking. But the drivers get fucked by Uber, right? For starters, yeah, the punters get fucked by Uber. Why do the punters get fucked? Well, because it's really cheap in America, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. But the, there's, I'm not but saying. But I would hate that they come to this country because it would put people. Like it's Uber already here. It's already here in the big cities. It's yeah. here in London, even though they got shut down by. Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, time, right. Um, <clears throat> and all that money goes in there to. There's actually a Russell Brand trues. About it, no Russell right, Brand. Yeah, of course, truth, yeah. Right? Was yeah. in Swansea doing stand up last night, yeah. mate. See, I see that. Yeah, exactly oh, did he really? Yeah. Oh, fucking get back on that, I know. So, 
Uh, Russell Brand did a Trues thing on it, and because he goes like, and then it's yeah, like yeah. investigative stuff in it, and he was saying like how the money was going into offshore fucking accounts, not coming back into the country, like they yeah. were paying tax on it. Fuck all. Another one like who wasn't paying tax? Google uh, and Starbucks, fucking, yeah. all these cunts, right? So all these big corporations, Uber is the fucking one of the worst of the lot. Like right. you know I mean, they're not paying their tax in the country. Mm. If you're giving money to them, you're not giving it to the drivers. Do you know what I mean? It's all yeah. going to them. It's getting fucking tucked up, right? And because I'm in the trade as well, like I but just. But what do you think of someone like cancer. London, though? Yeah, that that's always been a fucking staple working class man. Good fucking decent job, paid like. job. Good <laughs> job, like. You, got, yeah. you know, you, it's like with New York, isn't it? You need to get the badge. The yeah, yeah, the yeah. Badge, We've got the knowledge. They fucked in New York as well. Passed down through generations, didn't they? There was the license, but Vice, you know, Vice. Yeah, of course. Documentary makers. They they've got Vice News. I mean, I follow them on YouTube as well, and Vice News were there with in the past a New York taxi badge was you you you'd have it like it's a mortgage 30, 40, really? yeah you, yeah there. yeah you'd you'd have it like a mortgage right you'd buy it and you'd it's have to fucking uh, yeah, list yeah. And all that seriously shit. that's how much it was worth because you were making money constantly yeah. off it right right yeah but now if you paid 30 grand let's say for argument's sake i'm just using it as a figure yeah uh, like say 10 years ago if you think because of uber and all that your badge is worth nothing huh? mm. nothing yeah. So these guys were basically mortgaged to get these fucking badges. They and they hand them down to their kids. Yeah, like, it would be I mean? like a, they, they'd they hand their kids. Yeah. Yeah. They, they'd they be worth fortunes. They're not worth fucking pittance now. So these fuckers having to work seven days a week, getting less, they're getting less fares, less everything, yeah, because yeah. Uber's come in and undercut the fuck out of them. Right? And uh, like it's great for the punter on majority of occasions, course, yeah, but yeah. there's these occasions where Uber fuck everything up and they overcharge customers. And they well, it's the same in a way. Like we got someone like Amazon, yeah. So we all buy off Amazon now because yeah. it's less hassle, it's a bit cheaper. Yeah. But then they close down fucking thousands of little shops, yeah, yeah. Course, you know, yeah, bookshops yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. this and that and the other. Yeah. Then we all fucking use these fucking things, isn't so, it? Yeah. So now we're all not, guilty of saving not, a couple of quid. Have we not, got? Not, yeah. not only are Uber trying to put well, it's not come to Swansea, and it'd be. Uh, in my opinion, be hard pressed for Uber to make any money in Swansea I totally agree because that. Swansea taxi uh, prices are so cheap. London's a different game. Right. You know, they're charging fucking ridiculous amounts. The black cabs do. Really? Isn't there a thing I read with there. Uber as well that you don't even know the fucking fares until you fucking get it? I, I, I never took an Uber, so I. I I'd take a fare. I'm no, sure I've read a the, thing about. The fare know. comes up before you even get in. The... No, how did it work now? The fare come up before. Before we got in the taxi, but come straight up your bank account. But they tell you how much it's going to be. Yeah, and there's no cash, there's no so, credit. Right. Anyway. So they, they, will, they will book an Uber and they will tell you it's going to cost seven. It's going to cost seven dollars. Oh, no, I right. must have made right. that right. So, so these corporate slags, anyway, they fucking, not only are they happy to take taxi drivers' work, they're not actually going to have people driving the taxis then. Driverless cars. Driverless right? fucking cars. That's asking for trouble, isn't it? Right. <laughs> right. That's going to trouble. I mean, this is what right. happened this week. So in America, uh, I can't remember where it was now exactly. I think it was Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Right? They had a driverless Uber, but they actually had a person, because they're trialling it, yeah. so they got a person behind the fucking wheel, but he's not driving. Yeah. But just in case some shit goes down, yeah. you take over. Right? And uh, he ran over and killed some fucking woman. Who was crossing the fucking street, like in the middle of because there was this big furore about there, like fucking first well, death by driving this fucking car. Like, well, it well, is, isn't it? It, it was, was a bit of both. Robots are taking over slowly. First, first off, first off, I was like, fucking, you know, these cunts. Why are they? You know, because obviously I got a personal vested interest yeah. in it. I don't want driverless fucking cars. It'd be all fucking work. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, the uh, but what happened was is like these <laughs> these Ubers, like if that woman was crossing on a crossing. It would have slowed down and stopped for her. But she, basically in a man, she like jaywalked. Right, She yeah, went yeah. out across the road. Oh, the right. Right. <laughs> she has never the technology to recognise a human unless yeah. they're in the... Oh, unless they're on a cross. They recognise a fucking zigzag painting on the road. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> not a fucking human right. being. So like, like, can we all say we're not sold on driverless fucking cars? No, because no, 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 driverless no, no, taxis yeah, come in. That's a no Next thing you know then, <laughs> you'll have driverless trucks in. So the people who drive the trucks, trucks. fucking wrong, yeah. You know. And who? No, right. Okay. So you're gonna, you're still gonna be driving your fucking, uh, your family car up yeah. the motorway, right? And you're gonna have three or four driverless fucking lorries yeah. alongside you. Next mm. door, the fucking metal mm. Mickey. I don't no, fucking yeah, fancy also, that. Also, though, you got, you know, what? You've really got to hack into the fucking thing. Do you know what I mean? And then you got. And it's like Grand Theft Auto, isn't yeah, it? That's... Next thing, and you got that fucking Mexican pilot then driving a fucking Eddie Storbots up the M4. <laughs> Cheeky cunt. <laughs> 
Yeah, but John, yeah, I do the boat. They, they go for driverless fucking lorries. Yeah, Australia, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're testing the boat. There's, all, there's all sorts of like, you know, yeah, it's just a scrimp, a fucking few quid. You fucking know, quid, like, but it's millions, but, wasn't it? But, Scrimping millions. Yeah, that's but, the thing. But what's going to be left for fucking human beings exactly. to do? Exactly. Because I watched this thing with these robots in a Detroit something. Is that there's a company called Detroit something? And they're trying to they're building all these like uh, new robots and all that now and it's, you know the technology yeah, and yeah. the military have probably already fucking got them yeah, yeah. yeah. but they got these things like like some of them are like dogs some are like horses and they're all what running the around fuck? and you know they've all these oh, I saw it. did you see did you see them get pushed that? over yeah there, there was there was a with a stick there was right there. there was a fuck it was tremendous the Scottish people Twitter right? right I got sent it by one of the boys. So they've got the video of this robot yeah. and there's a guy pushing it over with a stick. So it fucking absolute falls yeah. and then like props itself yeah, back it's up and stands up. Yeah. But they voiced it over with like a Scottish robot right. voice, right? right? Oh, it is fucking hilarious. I'll have to find it and tweet right, it. Because right. he's going, do that, push me over, you cunt. <laughs> like, he's getting shoved <laughs> over and like, oh, yeah. this is fucking tremendous. But yeah, they, they were showing how this robot like can just sort of you know, brush things off and yeah. carry boxes, you know, get fucking knocked the, 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 the over box. The technology now is getting, they're getting into the stage where they, they build a fucking robot, right? And then, you know, ideally for the military, they probably won't. I mean, they send fucking 10,000 of these robots off wherever the fuck they want to go. But they're developing the technology now that if there's a fault with a the robot, they can diagnose the fault. So say one of the leg snaps. Yeah, like, yeah. Right? You know, the computer, whatever. Oh can my diagnose God, we are the talking fault. Terminator 2. Yeah, yeah fix that. the fucking fault. Mm. You know, so they can put these things on fucking bars or whatever, do you know yeah, what I mean? And they can yeah. just, any problems, they'll fucking fix it themselves. <sighs> you, you, you can imagine that, where you've got like, um, like some sort of sensor, right? You know, that senses onto me and they got a robot, right? This is like G- GPS, or whatever, right? This is the location of this person now. Yeah. Wherever he moves, we're following him. Press a button on the robot, right? Just keep fucking going till you find that cunt and kill him. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, that's that's where that's <sighs> oh where Len that's on it. Yeah. You know? What was there for us, like? I know. I'm gonna start fucking stalking you know, up on fucking tools. You got driverless cars. That's just gonna end up with fucking robots wiping us out. But this that's where it'll end up eventually. Yeah. The technology. Well, why can't cars, we? Can't, why, so if we can see it, why can't everyone else see it? I don't know. I you know think I, we just literally we've solved life. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna build a fucking every shelter on the yeah. fucking back. Be like Greece too. Let's do it for our country. The red, white, and the blue. No, no, he's as intelligent as us lot, though, isn't no, it? No, well, it's like very that. true, yeah, it's very true. I tell you one thing I listened to this week, which was fucking tremendous, and I wouldn't normally recommend any other podcasts, because fuck them all, but have you listened to the Joe Rogan podcast with Joey Diaz and Neil Romero? No. Right. Oh, but he's translating for him. Translating. Yeah, I've seen a little right. bit of it. Neil Romero is a UFC fighter, number one middleweight contender, and he's from Cuba, and obviously, like, he's... Uh, well, you know, they, 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 they exile from Cuba. Yeah, yeah, the fuck they do. Yeah. Like, he was a Olympic level wrestler um, and all this, and basically he went to Germany for a competition mm, and he never came back, yeah. right? Um, that is fucking amazing because he tells the story of his life and what right. it's like living in Cuba. And it, no, if you're interested in sports, yeah, of course, you, know what I mean? yeah. you don't even have to be interested in mixed martial arts just to be interested in how they. Because Cuba have got like a fucking uh, just a conveyor belt of amazing. Yeah, of course, course they're like good boxers, aren't they? Amazing well, boxers. Boxing teams would go to like the Olympics and win every and battle. Win every battle. Win but every... also, while they're out there, they would sell their tracksuits to other countries. Just to get a couple of quid, like right. yeah. you know, and yeah. you look at a can of coke as a fucking, you know, yeah. one of the greatest things ever invented yeah. right. in the country. They haven't got fucking no, coke. They haven't got it, and it's it. He, he tells the story of how, like you know, it, they basically they look at you as a kid, like any kid, like even us through you, and yeah. they go, right. Fuck you know, off. What does he, yeah, obviously you'd be the king of fuck off. Yeah. 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 You'd be like an Olympic gold medalist of fuck off, you know? So they, they, they love you. Out, sort his pants out in his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they basically, like, every kid, it's like, right, there'd be some kids that no good fuck all in there, you know yeah. I mean? They, like, they, you know, they carry in the fucking oranges on the pitch or yeah. something like that at half time. But, you know, they go, all right, he's built for wrestling. And then basically your whole life fuck is yeah. wrestling. Really? That's it. Wrestling, wrestling, it's wrestling. It's like that with a Chinese gymnast yeah, or whatever, right. isn't it? And it's like, it's like army regimented. 
you know what I mean? Six in the morning to this, this, that, and this. And, and this There's no life, like, though, There's really, no yeah. life, you know what I really? mean? They don't even know what life is, it's just outside of wrestling, yeah. fucking practice, and then going and How old was he until he fucked off to Germany? Fuck, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. I think he was he in his 30s. He was in his 30s, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Like, fuck yeah. it, yeah. Because he's like 40 now. So it, it must have been like, say, let's say Pharmacy, he was 31, 32, when he fucking sort of exiled. And then what it was, the reason why he knew was because in Germany, they've got a big um, fucking wrestling. They've got like a Bundesliga of wrestling, that's the way he describes right, yeah. it, right? So <clears throat> he knew that if he went there, being as well known as he was as an amateur wrestler, that these clubs would fucking look after him. Yeah, so yeah. that's what they did. Yeah. Obviously, he couldn't go back to Cuba then. He had to leave his it's kids, family. his really? whole family in Cuba. You know what I mean? They're not allowed out of Cuba. So well, he got a child. He he's left. got a child left. Still there. there no. Yeah, still there. That's fucking hell. That's so, but, but what, he, what he was trying to say, like I say, I don't want to spoil it because everyone should listen to it because it's just yeah. mind-boggling stuff. Yeah. It's only a couple of hours long as well. And Joey Diaz is amazing doing the, the whole... I, I listen yeah. to it. Like, yeah, bit. It's, it's like I thought the translator, because he's not, he can speak English, uh, Romero, yeah, yeah. but some things like he, he'll go to speak, he'll speak in Spanish because it's easier to say it in Spanish. It's to, better with Joey Diaz. Joey, Diaz Joey, yeah, because Joey Diaz can take it across well, and he yeah, get yeah. it across better. So... Um, he said that like uh, <clears throat> it's basically you know when these people are exile and they leave all their families yeah. behind mm. it's like it's obviously horrible for them they don't want to leave their kids there but it's basically that is that's it that's just the way it is you know what I mean it, they, they know that the family that are there it's like well fuck that's his chance to leave yeah, so yeah. he had to take that chance if they and were I, I in that same uh, position they would do the same well, thing like, missus would, un- would understand that well no that, that's that's basically a set it's like a way of life but I don't think it's like someone like Iraq where like the fucking kids and the wife are then tortured are they no 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 no, no, no. it's not like so it, although, no, like, they still left. live their lives he's yeah. just not there although he's left they, they won't be persecuted and, yeah he was saying that he's allowed to like send back his earnings right so for every um Ten dollars. So he's trying to get a better life. For yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every ten dollars he sends back, they take two. Right. Oh. So he takes sends hundred, they take twenty. You know, right, and the government take eight. Just keep it. No, 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 no. He keeps eight. Oh, they right. Take so two. everything he yeah. earns, they take twenty percent. Right. They take twenty yeah. percent of it, which is probably tax. unbelievable so, money. Yeah, they just like... taxing him. Yeah. So actually, like, um, he's allowed back to Cuba now because he got um, Castro died. No, he, he wasn't even that. No, really? it's still it's still the same regime there, even though you know. Really? Not, but but um, he got a pardon. Um, who did it? Fuck me. I would not I don't want to tell a story. But after he did something, yeah. and and he got so pardoned, so he can go back and forth, but he can't take his family out. Right. Okay. So you they know, can go back and see him now. Yeah, yeah I mean. it's honestly, guys, fucking amazing to 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 see what those Cuban athletes got to go through. You know, mm. and and the way they live, like everyone they live with, is competition. Yeah, I so, I heard that a little yeah. bit. As I said, I listened to about ten minutes, but I remember one bit because he was saying that's how they end up so good because the standards so fucking high. He said you can't really have friends because that's no. going to be your yeah, yeah, biggest yeah. fucking and, and rival. Like, you know, us three here now, we're the three best wrestlers in Cuba. Yeah. So even though we're living together, we can't really be mates because I want to, I'm third be, best be like, in it. I want to yeah. get up to be second or first best. It but it breeds. Right. It's the same with fucking fuck all the boys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling like more and more competitive, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. As, as, as it fucking goes. I like, got no friends in fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford to. Man. No, I can't. Like, not in that brutal industry of fuck off. <laughs> But Joe Rogan. Astro Castro dropped the, dropped the clag in yeah, there. Yeah, Castro had gone into fuck golf, it would have been fucking brilliant. Nice. And he looked a little Cuban as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once really he does strong. this uh, seven well, hour walk. say, malnourished. Once you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> once you do the seven hour walk along the prom and you get a little bit of a driving van, 100% you're going to be, you're going to be mistaken for Castro's grandson. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a very strong uh, fuck golf community. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this weekend, uh, oh, hang on, last weekend first. Yeah. Right, because we covered it last week quite extensively. John Phillips fought. Gutted, gutted for it. But he really, um, he come out of it, like, do see his Twitter post, his Instagram post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what he, I, I think he summed it up fucking perfectly. Like, he more or less said he's at the top level of his fucking, of his profession, fucking, yeah, of his profession, get, like, yeah. you can't get higher no, than the UFC, UFC. You, mm. you made it, I think he more or less said, to your uh, Bruce Buffer, call out, his, call out his name, I don't know if you noticed it, I noticed it straight away on the night, right, Bruce Buffer said his name, I know he had a little wry smile to himself, and I thought, fucking good on him, like, like, 
John must have seared him, call his name out, and he must have had no like fucking goosebumps. And I think you could see it because he gives a little smile to himself. And well, it was like, you see him, well, whatever happens to me, at least they fucking got ex- you. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, and he worked fucking hard to get yeah. there. Like, you know, it's consumed his life, and it yeah. probably the last 20 years have led up to that, that point. Like, it didn't fucking go his own way. It didn't go his way. Fuck me. I tell you what, this, I, was, I was talking to the boys about it earlier. Like, the, the guy that he was fighting, um, you know, you know when they do the, the intros bit, and, yeah. they, and they, I know, I, you know, he's saying John Phillips and Swansea, and then the guy's uh, name is Charles Bird, and they call him Kid Dynamite, which did yeah, we yeah, yeah, Mike Tyson's yeah. uh, original nickname was, was Kid Dynamite, yeah. which we, we found out recently. So, and he said, I like to, uh, I like to think my style's like Mike Tyson, you know what I mean? And he made out that he was going to come out and yeah, yeah. Ex- and I'd stand and bang with John, and I was, I was watching it, and I'm going. Fuck, this is gonna be really interesting if he's dead serious about yeah, coming yeah. out and fucking standing and banging with John. And then he came across and literally dived across dived the cage on his legs to like, his feet. Yeah, yeah. Surely, to, to, see, I don't know a lot about this, but surely at that level, that bloke's gonna know. I don't, oh, of course I'm not gonna yeah. stand up no, with this no, fucking no, man. Listen, man. Like, yeah. you know, he's seen, he's seen listen, the yeah. fights. He if you stand up with John, somebody, listen, they go on a night. Yeah, yeah, if you stand with fucking someone who's as heavy handed as John Phillips. You were fucking. You played with fire. Yeah. You know you can't fucking. You can't. You can't blame the guy. The guy, the guy. Look, actually, if if you think of it this way, it's um, it's a, it's like a mark of respect. Massive John. compliment. He's gone right. I can stand and bang with most people. I've done it in the fucking past. I'm not taking my chance with this fucker. Mm. I'm gonna take him to the floor. As be- you know, I know I can I can stand up and I can have a go, but this uh, this is the only way that the that's the why job everybody loves it, don't it? Because it's mixed martial arts. Of course, yeah, yeah, this is different fucking angles. So, yeah. you know, it's, it was my you know when we talked about it last week, it was it was my genuine concern was like this guy wouldn't even consider standing with him at all, and he never did. You know, what I mean, he, he didn't consider it. At no, all. no, he, he didn't literally just it. died to John. So he, and I even think the shot because obviously John would have been training for that. John would have been training take down the fence yeah. and all this stuff. The shot was so low that I think it actually took John by surprise. If you know what I mean, you'd, you'd expect the maybe shot. Maybe so low or maybe so quick. Maybe so quick. You know, you know what I mean? You think, oh, he's going to stand yeah. and maybe jab and move a little there was bit. None of that. There was none of that. None he of just that. ran across and dived at his feet. Yeah. When, when, they, when they do that, yeah, because I know you obviously you can kick people in the fucking head, but you can't when they got no, their knee on the floor. They, yeah, well, it's, yeah, when they, when they, if he had, like at that time it happened so quickly that John wouldn't have had a chance to. No, but, but, but anyway, could but. you know in theory if, if if somebody now is running towards you to try and take you down, you kick them in the head. Before yeah, they're actually yeah, 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 just yeah. boot them yeah. in the face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But don't forget yeah. these people are high level, high level yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. From it's, what I can work out as well, jujitsu is so important now, and uh, right, yeah, you know, if you don't get fucking banged, yeah, you know, I've so seen some some guys, some skinny little guys with jujitsu. Well, somebody's choking, you fucking choking. The original out. UFC, like UFC yeah. one, was like was like all the these different, and all that yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. You no, know, the fucking the guy who won boxing glove and all that. It was a boxer, fucking super. I watched some of that footage. It's it's crazy, it's that fucking is, mad, yeah. isn't it? That mad is he German? The one with like he's got the white trousers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that big black. Yeah, yeah. 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 comes out. Yeah. yeah, you know, and it's fucking the fucking jujitsu fucking guy is the overall winner. Yeah. Like you know, it's it is what it is. It's a fucking mad fucking sport, like. But but that's, um, that's how it was developed apparently oh, like, you know the yes. grandfather he was like really yeah. skinny so yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. it was to show I mean, that it was, it was technique yeah. over power yeah. and, uh, and strength and that. Yeah. I mean, that's why they put Hoist Gracie in because he was like that's the most right, skinniest yeah. sort of meekest of the lot of them and he just fucking armbarred everyone to fucking bits oh my like. nephew's banging into it now like do you know what I mean he goes because uh, funny enough the, the sensei of the place my nephew goes his brother was fighting in um was it the Eddie Bravo Invitational? Yeah, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah that Ashley, Ashley Williams. Williams. Yeah, yeah. Ashley yeah, Williams yeah. and Josh Williams. Uh, oh, like, he's, yeah. he's, he's like a sensei of the place my daughter. Yeah, Ashley Williams yeah. is a black belt in the end of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At, um, Proper high level yeah, again, yeah, like yeah. you know, like at Eddie Bravo and it's, the National. Yeah, yeah. But it's invitation only, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's 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 what I thought it must be pretty fucking oh, like, fuck, high yeah, level. Yeah. Because Eddie Bravo beat one of the Gracies, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. Right? He yeah. beat uh, uh, Royler, I think it was. So so put him on the map. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so he tapped him as well. I think choked him out, something like that. Oh, right. That's on. Uh, yeah, that's what made Eddie Bravo famous. Oh, yeah, yeah. About yeah. well, twenty-five minute fucking fight or something. Yeah. No, he's just a fuck. Well, I said, I still wouldn't want to fucking grapple with him. No, no of course he's stoned yeah. out of his mind talking about yeah, flat yeah, earth yeah. and things like that, and he. No, that's a conspiracy that I can't no, get my no, fucking yeah, head around no, at all. I know he like flat earther. 
No, not a, not a flat earth. Like the very, the very, that second, that really second gap right. then <laughs> makes me think, how can you be, how can you be fuck golf world champion with a flat earth? The ball would just keep rolling over the edge, right? You know what I mean? You know, I don't have I, that. Look, I, it's, I, only I, I, it's only because the earth is flat, we can't play fucking yeah, golf. Yeah, true. I, I, I like, because Eddie Bravo was like, I think in Eddie Bravo, like, look, Eddie, look, Nobody minds a bit of weed, Eddie. Yeah, but I yeah. think you might have fucking smoked a little bit yeah, too much because yeah. flat Earth is a little bit out there for me. Yeah, like. but the only reason that, that people think that the Earth is round is because they've been told that. We've been told it since day one, are we? Right. Do you know what I mean? We've always been told that. It's like, I, I, I couldn't prove to you that. Like, if somebody, somebody come to me and they're like a flat Earther, yeah? Yeah. I couldn't prove to them they're fucking full of shit. I wouldn't know where to start. It'd be like, um, they think the Earth is flat and i got to prove to them it's not. It's like, oh, well, because globes are like that. It's like, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, no, that's, that's, a a very, that's a very, like, I can understand it's what you're saying. It's a shit we've been told, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a very basic level. With a flat like, earth one, I never so understood what, what would be the advantage of fucking like <laughs> <life. laughs> there, there is none, is there? I read, I, actually not so long ago, I can't remember the facts of it now, but there was like a, a scientific breakdown of how we couldn't have a flat earth, because it literally just wouldn't work. You know right. I mean? Like gravity. Yeah, but, yeah, but you've got to believe scientists, then, haven't you? Yeah, right. But there is a million fucking uh, all, all the satellite images of the Earth. Are they all being faked? Just like forever. Do you know what I mean? Are the, is, are the Russians, the Chinese, the Yanks, the Brits? Are they all in it? Is everyone in on it? Because like everything looks round to me when you look at like these satellite images. Just for starters, like. I, do you know I mean, when you're looking at that satellite image of you. On Ashley Road, the Theatre of Trees, like the Theatre of Dreams, right? You were there. That's what that's what Trundle's gonna blame now for that loss. Yeah, flat. Yeah, he, he, he added he yeah. added on a flat. He is a he's a he is a flat earther, isn't he? Uh, for Trundle, <laughs> I couldn't see Trundle walking around fucking him and Andy Robson talking about conspiracy theories, is it? Andy Robson like, yeah, I'm upset the Pentagon didn't get busted. <laughs> no, nah, fuck no way. Trundle got too much. Trundle ain't got time for that, man. He's yeah. walking around school shaking hands with kids all day. Like, he ain't got type of flat. No, yeah, he definitely ain't got type of flat. Yeah. I, uh, I do, I do like, you know, when I see things like, like people send me messages and stuff, like, it was weird about this. Like, we are talking shit to each other, like, you know, I thought that. There'll be a host of people now that will go and Google, not Google, they'll yeah, go on yeah, YouTube yeah. and they'll YouTube Flat Earth and stuff. And then you have people messaging you going, oh, yeah, no, you've got, you've got yeah. to look into it's these weird. things. Yeah, you've, you've got to check it out. Like, I find the shit fascinating and sometimes I don't believe it. I, d- I don't believe anything anymore, do you mean? Because we've been fed so much shit all our lives yeah? and there's yeah. things only now coming out, you find out, you know, with JFK and yeah. 9-11 is fucking dodgy as fuck. And, do you know what I mean? So, and all the fucking, pe- like you're on about, uh, you're on about it, the paedophiles in, where in America you said the priests? Oh, the, oh yeah, Boston. Yeah. Boston. Yeah. Fucking this everywhere. Was, this was all happening over here as well in the yeah. 70s. Yeah, and of all course. The yeah, all the big conservative peers yeah. and all that. Yeah. Like, you, you know, know Jimmy Savile getting kids for that. Yeah, fuck all yeah. All this yeah. shit. How did we let that one pass? How did we realise? We realize? didn't find it. It was before huh? our time. I'm not taking that. No, no fuck, I remember Jimmy Savile. I wrote up to see if I could meet Ian Rush and all that. Is no, fuck anything of that. I could have I could have been bummed to an inch of my life. Well, I was a Catholic boy as well. In fact, I'm pretty lucky I got out alive and unscathed. Yeah. Really Saturday night nice. TV for me was fucking Jimmy Savile and a bit of Rolf Harris, isn't it? Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> mate, Bob's you've got your fucking fucking uncle. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Who would have thought it? Like, all we need to come out is, um, can remember that programme, We Are the Champions, where they all used to jump in the pool at the end? Wasn't that Stuart Orr in Nons' case as well? He fucking was. No, that was. That was. Um, um, that was it's royal. It's a royal. It's, a it's Princess Anne. You got a bucket of water. A bucket of water. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that was it. That was he, it. He, yeah, he's a nonce. Yeah, yeah, it's full of fucking nonces. It's a nonce. Uh, I don't know. It's only a matter of time for Andy Peters gets done, isn't it? Oh, he, Andy Peters is on now. <laughs> Andy Peters on. Can I get me fucking locked up? Andy, Sorry, Andy. Andy Peters got the best yeah, game in the world. He's on Good Morning Britain every every day. You know why? Yeah. In places like that, advertising the competitions. Fucking Fuck, brilliant. That's a great 100% job. Hundred percent. You think they're Gordon the Gopher? <laughs> that was yeah, Schofield, but, wasn't it? No, nah, huh? no, I'm not making any. Oh. I'm not. Oh, we. I'm not going to draw us a line no. and go after Philip no. Schofield as well. can't make a joke about the score. No, Everyone loves it. No, I love Schofield. <laughs> Everyone loves the score. But what do you think about on this fucking nonsense the fact that fucking, what about Wogan? Uh, he, uh, he disappeared off the scene that what was a bit yeah, he died. <laughs> 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 oh, no, fuck it out. Give the fucking cut into the fucking excellent Irish rules. 
Um, no excuse. Fuck you, can't know what I mean. No, but he wants him for a long time before he died. You know, yeah, he, yeah, he was fucking old as fuck. He was yeah. 97. But he he had uh, dying. He no, 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 Inside the BBC, though, didn't he? Yeah. So the, anyone with a lot of lot no, of BBC yeah, ears yeah, on their yeah, resume got to be open to fucking. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, I don't know. Know. Big of the dead and make accusations based on. Well, this is the first time I've heard Wogan accused of on tree. Oh no, I'm not you accused. Know. I just wouldn't let him babysit my kids. No, 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 no. no. I said that like. I remember Wogan when he had George Best and everything. Oh yeah, that's classic. Yeah, that's, that's a big class. I think Wogan was a bit mean there when he he sort of took the piss out of Best a bit. Do you know what I mean? In that interview, when I can't George remember was, the interview. I just yeah. remember being on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He should have, he should have yeah. fucking gone. Just off. Off. Yeah, yeah, he should have yeah, gone, gone in the off. green room and said, "Look, I'm not having you on." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They pulled him on because, well, as it happens, the clip was live him, show as well. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, fucking hell. I suppose you better talk about the fucking swans from a weekend, even though I don't want to, because it was shite. That was just in battle. Don't go out with a fucking wimper. Very 2017, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Very yeah, 2017 yeah, yeah. performance. It was, um... <coughs> You're in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Yeah. Mm. It was like, you know, like, before the game, everyone's saying, fucking hell, this is like the best run we've had since the fucking 60s and all that. You know, amazing. At least fucking do something. Like. Well, that could be, right? As, and it probably will be. That could be as close as we get to the final in our lifetime. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, not only as that. As these bigger, as the top teams get further, further away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not only that, you win that, it's Wembley. Yeah. So yeah. there's your cup final anyway. There's your cup final anyway. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, for yeah. the one against Tottenham? Yeah. yeah. yeah but you win I want, that. I wanted to take my youngest daughter to Wembley if, right. if I got yeah, to the semi-final. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. She's never been. I was, yeah. In my head thinking, we win this. But I'm gonna, semi-final? I'm gonna go. yeah. Oh, that's fucking huge. And I, it, it's just so heartbreaking because, you know... And then we could have Southampton in the would, semi-final. Yeah, yeah. I, would rather, I, I would rather go out... Like, you know, you watch Wigan and Southampton and Southampton won the game quite comfortably, but Wigan had a go. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Go and have a fucking go. I'd have rather lost 6-0 in that game but gone out, like, trying a fucking yeah, yeah. hit. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, Coming out with a side you pick, like Kyle Bartley shouldn't be anywhere near fucking well, the that, that first goal I was saying to somebody. He backs off everything, yeah, he's goal, fucking that's, hopeless. That's what I wrote on Facebook, closing down Di Lawrence, oh. 1979. Yeah. That's one of the, when you defend, that's one of the first things you taught as a kid. You don't you know? back off yeah. someone as dangerous as Christian Eggs. At the, on the edge of the fucking box. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see what Eggs said? Eggs and said... Oh, I love playing against Swansea. Of course he does. <laughs> what the fuck? How embarrassing is that? <laughs> Same as no one knows about the keeper. I know he played in every game. God love him. But we talk professional football. When he was saying, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to stick with him as a bit of loyalty. Fuck loyalty. Fabianski's one of the best keepers in the league. Put him in, you fucking dull cunt. He did, he did it like... He did it not one or two way, not what, not what, one way or the other. Because like he took Connor Roberts out to play Norton when Connor Roberts had played yeah, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if Nordfeld is keeping his place, and fucking why Kyle Barton yeah. is keeping his place, why ain't Connor Roberts keeping his fucking yeah. place? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a strange you know, one. It was, it was fucking, it was weird. All it was like half hearted. It was, it was, well, it wasn't even half hearted. It wasn't even. That's like a modern thing that never used to happen before. No, right, this keeper is going to go all the way through. You know, yeah. yeah. Somebody did it. it. Why didn't we just go United, there? Didn't it? And they 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 play the reserve <coughs> in the Europa well, the other I, year. Play them all the way through the final. Yeah, and I you don't got know, the other thing that's crazy. They all got a week off. Yeah. You know I mean? They should have played that game like it was the cup final. They should yeah, have played exactly. that yeah, game yeah. like it was the cup. Let's go and fucking go for and win this game. We played like on the edge of our area all game, like never put anything together. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking it was so fucking depressing to fucking watch. So negative. It looked like Clement was back in charge. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like right boys, we'll sit in there and hopefully we'll fucking sneak something. But don't you think as well? No our cup, right. We have fucking staggered to it, mind all these teams. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, league, yeah, right? yeah. But like the cup run. Helps you league form, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, like gives a winning mentality. Didn't do any harm, did it? When you beat exactly. somebody eight one, it gives you fucking confidence. Exactly. It? it gives you like the winning mentality, yeah. innit? Which now we totally lost. Now we totally you lost. Know? Lost all momentum. Like any momentum you have, that's fucking gone. Yeah. You know, Especially after the week before. before. I just feel there's a week before, innit? it? That nil nil, do yeah. I mean? Fucking yeah, ten everyone, men yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we'd have fucking given, had a really good go at Tottenham. 
We get beat fucking three two. We get beat yeah. fucking two one. But having yeah. a good goal, having a good goal. It keeps Don't that just them going. Up the gap. It was, Would they even feel the same? Oh, I love playing these. Oh, well, you, could, you could have, you could have turned it off fifteen minutes in. Yeah. Because you were just like, well, there's nothing gonna fucking happen here. But yeah. you know, my mate wrote on Facebook, you allowed to concede in football. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, That's what it felt out. like, innit? It was just quarterfinal of the FA Cup. No, why are you going for it? Like this is like you see, there's a number of them players there as. We'll never get to a court final. Never, never, never. And played like as if it was a training match. And Spurs played in. And, 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 thankfully, yeah, Spurs yeah. played like it was a fucking training I don't match. get that fucking mentality, though. I really don't get the mentality of somebody who's, who's got to become a professional. Yeah, player. yeah. He's obviously had to work hard to get there. And then you get you get a team a where chance. you've got you, a sniff you, you, you every final. Six or seven players in the team. Uh, like, oh, I yeah. don't fancy yesterday. Yeah, you won't get that. Like, you know, any fucking Sunday league team, innit? Yeah, yeah. People yeah. just fucking get like it. Said, it was international break, didn't it? This week. Yeah. So there's no fucking game. Know. Do you see fucking Gareth Bale scoring that, Rick? Well, I didn't see it, but I yeah, heard it. Oh, you what fucking, fucking time was that on? 11 o'clock this morning. Jesus Christ, I'm yeah. too busy. Yeah, crafting. I was going to say, I heard something on the radio. Somebody says 5-0, that was about yeah, 12. Yeah, that yeah, was 12. Yeah. He's now overtaking the in Russia. Have you heard Giggs talking? He is what? literally the most uninspiring fucking person oh, ever. Oh, he's monotone really? as fuck. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's like the Welsh Mike Lowen. Is he? Yeah. Just an accent, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's supposed yeah. to be really funny as well. You know, like... He yeah. looks like a character. I've seen the in, class in of the two and all that. You know, yeah. He just went... You know, obviously... He's, he's, he's Welsh he's being interviewed as Welsh man you're not being interviewed as Ryan well, Giggs yeah, yeah, yeah. he's being interviewed as Welsh it was just like you know it was like it was, no, ins- on. Yeah, it was no inspiration yeah. I can't claim to be the biggest fucking Welsh international yeah, yeah. fan you know what I mean don't get me wrong you know? that's what they call him was was uh, yeah. he's not monotone is he you know no no, he's, no. He, he, he's, he's, he's full of it like yeah I cost him a medal Coleman in the under 11s really <laughs> is there a League, I'm all going to mention this. I thought I'm going to concentrate my foot golf. But Not in the under 11 <laughs> foot golf championship. No, uh, under 11 Swansea League. Right. Three for Fairwood. Yeah. He was North St. When. Right. North End, they changed to yeah, it. Yeah, North, North St. When. North End, days. yeah. North St. When was like a and miniature. black and white TV and all this as well. <laughs> but five or six of their team ended up playing professionally. Like Yeah, because he was the same age as um, Ginga. Des Trick. And Art Summer, eh? No, uh, no, no, no. was a bit younger. Yeah, that's trick. Dario, he played. Dario, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, but he's coming on. Yeah. The uh, Pernak brothers. Yeah. I think they played professionally. They one of them. Well, the keeper did, didn't he? Keeper did anyway. Yeah. Well, they're the only school boys. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Swansea school boys. Yeah, yeah. A bit of a fair one, right? Swansea West. They thought, you know, we fucking walk all over these fucking yeah, people, yeah. like. Drew with them in the league at the end of the season level on points league playoff pen cloud nil nil extra time 10 minutes of the second period of extra time to go free kick 30 yards Coleman's like that locking over who's this guy with his funny trousers <laughs> and wiggle pickers no I was in shorts he looks like a, he looks like a fuck off champion in the making <laughs> I, was in, I was in shorts these days uh, in those days, yeah, but I, it was a bit of a fuck golf shot actually, because Trundle was all about my fucking technique. Yeah. They, they accused me of toe poking it, you know. When you're 11, how else are you going to score from 35 <laughs> fucking yards? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, 1 0. Um, Fairwood took the title. Coleman, I don't know what happened to him. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the Fairwood player went on to become uh, the world fuck golf champion. I went on to have a yeah. glorious, glorious career in the football exactly. industry. Well, that was the highlight of my football career, actually. Yeah, but yeah, well, not the sixty-yard you told me about. Well, t- t- do you want me to talk to you about? That? Oh, get him out! Come on, let's get him out! <laughs> no, I did score a sixty-yard once. True story. Yeah, people. Bought, did Obama? He played. He's played for loads of teams. He still right. plays now. Like, uh, What's his real name? Andrew Thomas. Yeah, no. He's, he played for Durling for years, but he's played for Roxburgh. I think he's played for fucking right, like, yeah. every fuck anyway. But Dool, I used to play on a Sunday, right? Well, Sunday league. And um, I'd fucking long since retired. Yeah. By this point, it was about 22, 23, pad, you know what I mean? I had better things to do. And uh, I was up in the park one Sunday morning, went up to watch, and they were short, like. So, like, well, what do you play? I said, oh, fuck, like, do you know what I mean? I got a big fuck off champion <laughs> in Dubai tomorrow. We've been playing Trundle yeah, yeah. for 15 years, man, leave it out. So I said, look, I, I'll play, but I'm not fucking running about, boys. Yeah. I just haven't got the fucking I don't fully recall this. Sometimes that's all you've done, isn't it? Fuck me. You're not exactly making out to be the next Royal <laughs> At least he's being honest. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I, was, 
I mean, to literally make the fucking numbers yeah. up. This guy's know. running through brick walls for us, lads. <laughs> I just, I was hanging about, sort of semi out of the centre circle, yeah, yeah. really, do you know what I mean? Drifting either side of it sometimes, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Just to, just to keep up with play, but one there to do much, right? So the other team had a corner. Corner comes off, somebody just fucking heads it out. Yeah, yeah. Sat up bounce, bounce by my foot. There's nobody anywhere fucking near me. Yeah. Living. Wiggle pick, I come out. Keep us on the edge of his fucking box. I just saw it. I'm running with the fucking yeah. thing. Turned, banged it, stood over the keeper. Never hit a ball so well in my life. Do a like. 60 yarder. And I go, fuck out, bro. Everybody comes running up to me. And they're all giving me different names. Right. And I'm uh, like, what? And somebody else would give me a different name. But I don't know if they still do these days. But the ref. Then come up and ask me my name. Oh fuck! The, the ref yeah, yeah. Used to take the name. Yeah, of, the of course do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was supposed to give a name of you know somebody that yeah, was registered yeah. the yeah, fucking course play. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Any, I don't know what the fuck was going on with all this. I mean, somebody's like run up to you, say, "Oh, say Paul Evans." Yeah, of course. This, yeah, yeah. That, and I don't know. I can't remember what name I give the ref. Probably my own, like, but. Uh, I never found out about that actually. Is that a thing? Is that you mate, know, six, ref, uh, ref, that, you know, okay, you've six? You've just cost them a league now, mate. Because yeah. the way the fucking Swansea senior league are, they're yeah. dark on points. Yeah, they're going back. They're going back <laughs> twenty years. <laughs> they, they, they go, they're going down there, yeah, like yeah. taking the fucking trophy. Not like uh, it's all. Uh, still count, no. <laughs> not like all. Not like all Lance Armstrong's uh, yellow jerseys <laughs> yeah. still yeah. count. In the side, you've got to win, win Division 2 winners. This is going to be wiped out now. It's just going to have no winner. It's like as if it never happened. Yeah, yeah, like they're Russian athletes in the Olympics. So the ref writes down the name of the scorers? Yeah, six thirds once. We've had a few nightmares. Like, we had one boy come on and get sent off for giving a false name. So we brought the sub on. The sub had come off. The sub had come on. Then he fucking, he's supposed to come on as Mark Evans. And he'd given his name Tom Smith. And the ref sent him off. So straight away, we don't pretend then. <laughs> Uh, Wally Portman once famously put a dead man down by mistake and got their names mixed up. But yeah, fuck it happens, yeah. I, I, really I got my leg playing under that. Uh, I shouldn't really say this. Yeah, I'm not going to say when it happened then because the Swansea League do are partial to finding the Saints. Like, you know, we are yeah. through. So, a <laughs> couple uh, of years ago, I'm going to say 20 like, uh, years ago, <laughs> um, we had a boy who got um, started fighting on the pitch, got sent off. So then the ref must have taken his name wrong, right? Say the boy's name was um, Ryan Frost, right? And we had a centre-half playing for us called Matthew Anton. So Ryan Frost gets sent off, but then the ref says, oh, um, I will be putting in the ban for that Ryan Arrington. So straight away he got the two names mixed up. Right. But Matthew Arrington was going to Thailand for three weeks, see? On holidays. So we said, no, we haven't got a Ryan Anderton. We got a Matthew Anderton. So Matthew Anderton had the ban while he was in Thailand. Right. Ryan Frost played for us, scored three and three. Matthew Anderton comes back from fucking riding an elephants in Thailand right. and gets hit with a £60 fine. <laughs> <laughs> The club didn't take it for him, like. No, 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 no. But when he they didn't pay the fine. He yeah. paid, well, he paid it in Bart. He had the you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was under. I would play under Jonathan Kamal's name when I bust my. Jonathan leg. Kamal. Yeah, Malzi. Yeah, I bust my fucking leg playing under his name for the Bramellon on Sunday. So, uh, it, one thing before we fucking go, we gotta say good luck to James Lilly this weekend. Oh fuck, Daniel yeah, Lewell fighting in a bare knuckle, a pair of fucking maniacs up in Liverpool in the Echo Arena. Um, Unbelievable, fair yeah. play. Swansea boys taking over the bear that hello. Yeah, they're taking a crowd of bear. Yeah, there's they? a couple of buses going. Who's going up there? Well, it's fifty Portana boys going up for Nigel French, ex Swans Legends, fiftieth birthday. Yeah. So they happen to be in Liverpool and they see that nah, two birds with one stone there. It's like perfect. Over there, yeah. So. yeah, Frenchie. Yeah, Frenchie's Frenchie, fiftieth birthday. What a fuck. Yeah, I heard the name before. Yeah, yeah it's a fuck. We had a good shindig, me and him, once we played for the Royal Mail team down in Worthing. Then we were back in the old town, yeah. it was around Christmas time, and we were just up till six in the morning singing. And he taught me the chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Yeah. No, that's how <laughs> no, it came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. expected Silent Night. Yeah, and he, started, yeah. he bust that out in the middle of the fucking bar at five in the morning. Beautiful song. Well, not at that time of day. Well, oh, can I just say as well, good luck, uh, good luck this week, Jim Bowen in the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, good luck to them, boys. Uh, Griff, it's been a pleasure, mate. Thanks for having me, boys. Yeah, Thank you very thanks, much. Sir. And uh, we're out for now. Well, we'll see you next week. ta -da.
ambition is critical.